What's going on, Need to Know Podcast family? We got another amazing episode of the podcast. But before we get into it, I want to give a special shout out to the good folks over at Underdog Fantasy. Yes, guys. Our friends over at Underdog Fantasy have an amazing deal for you guys. But you have to use our promo code, Need to Know. And what yeah. does that get you? It gets you a deposit matchup of up to $100. So whatever you're feeling, you know, just put that in. And they're going to match that all the way up to $100. Please use our code, Need to Know. Before we get into the episode, I need you guys to press pause. Download the Underdog Fantasy app right now. Use promo code Need to Know. All right, and that's for a hundred percent deposit match of up to a hundred dollars. Let's get it. And I started thinking to myself, man, what did he do to make them niggas that mad? <laughs> <laughs> Greatest show ever. <laughs> This could apply. Why? No, hold up. This could apply to so many so different many topics things. this week, True. guys. Yeah. So. That, that applies to the, all the conversations we're gonna have today. Mm-hmm. Pierre, what were you saying? Nah, I was just agreeing with Reggie. It, it applies to literally everything. Yeah, Probably I, every topic. I didn't know where he was going. I thought is that was like when you heard that clip. Who did you think of? Diddy, <laughs> Future, Kendrick, Kendrick. Drake, <laughs> Cole, Ken- Kendrick, Big Sean. Rick Ross, old girlfriend. Yo, that's <laughs> Christina Mackey. <laughs> Christina, Christina Mackey. Mackey. 21 Savage. That's a good clip. Wow. All right. I'm not mad at that. 40. No. But, but before the cameras came on, right? Yeah. We, we was talking about some. I sweat a lot. Yeah. Profusely. A lot. Mm-hmm. Like, I have a. Same I think these. I have a medical condition. Do you feel I, some type of way that he just added profusely to it? <laughs> uh, he didn't have to put the ad lib in it, but that's, that's just what like, he That was like the perfect word. I feel like that was a sneak disc. <laughs> that's just what he does. Like, like, I'm, I'm used to it. Right. Used Don't to come it. here and See? divide. Yeah. 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 And come in here to divide. Yeah. Don't let him. That is an instant. I would never do that. I would never do that. I sweat a ton. So before the the cameras and the lights came on, I'm like, fuck, man, it's hot in here. I need paper towels. All And then it reminded me. Of this really embarrassing thing that I did Uh-oh. when I first cut my hair and had to go bald. Uh-oh. What you did? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I was so against being bald. Yeah. Right? I did everything. I did everything. I did Beijing. I was 22 years old with Beijing in my hair. What is, Wait, ba- what is Beijing? I've never admitted to that. Little, uh, really? I don't even know. But like I, a heavy, I had a it's like paint. Like a heavy dose? Oh, okay. What? Okay. It's like a little Wait, what does that mean? Hair I don't paint. Know. Enhancements. Well, you have yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you like seen like yeah. DJ Khaled's beard, how it's extra oh. black, like it's super, <laughs> oh. super black. No, sometimes um at barbershops, like don't they just do that anyway? Like, isn't it like really common? They do it, but not when you're 22 years old and need it for your <laughs> hairline. Like they do it for your beard. Yeah. <laughs> they Wait. don't do it for your hair. So I was like 22 experiment with uh like Beijing. Yeah. Yeah. But the ultimate, like, yo, I'm I'm down bad. There was because Reggie, she suggested the good sister, as she always does, she always has like wonderful magnificent suggestions she so does. she said hey man why wow. don't we get powder like you know say, well, you sweat a lot just get some powder now, like, stay and... away from drugs kids that's not what i meant oh uh, well like baby powder. singer yeah like like face powder like face setting powder. powder that's what mm-hmm. the girls call it, setting powder yeah. she was like that'll help you not sweat and like, then it'll it... mattify your face i got a good one it won't change the color of your skin don't worry so it's it, like a clear powder it reminded me of when i was so against having a bald head that i bought bald head anti-shine <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. Wait. So it just look, it just make your dome look Wait. flat. It's like matte dome, <laughs> like right. to mattify yeah, your yeah, bald yeah. head. So I tried to what mattify my head because I was so tired oh. of seeing the shine. Because the shine enhanced the shine your bald head. Oh. Crazy, bro. Like twenty, you gotta understand. <laughs> it was like at thirty head? years old. I'm really like okay in my baldness. <laughs> okay, yes. But my hairline, Edin, for those who don't know, Edin's here. Edin may not know. My hairline started going back when I was like 22. That hurts. Like, so yeah, I had to hurts. Somehow, yeah, every, hurts. Yo, yeah. every episode, we yo. somehow talk about Save on Beach. That's how you know you care about <laughs> no, this shit. I mean, <laughs> that's fair. That's how you know you care about this shit. That <laughs> like, somehow we talk yeah. about it. <laughs> well, this week it happened because Pierre and I, we was on the phone this past week. Yeah. Uh oh. And I'm yeah. concerned for my good brother. Uh, for Pierre? Uh-oh. Yeah, bro, yo. When you uh, why well, you sound like that? Pierre? Yeah, What's he wrong? sound mad distressed. As yeah, a bro. as a man, yeah. you know how like your hair is like, well, your hairline is a sh- is your shining glory. Okay, yeah. So if your joint ain't sharp, you don't f- really feel the most confident. Look I feel at that. Your, look at your shit. Like, it is not I mean, that sharp. Yo, your shit you have a nah, you got back. you got it's good edges. Back. Back. Nah, P, your shit good. I didn't know nothing until you said something. Nah, but That's like, cap. well, sometimes when you in the sometimes yeah, when you in the shower, I mean, you know how like you notice certain things about yourself that most people wouldn't really notice. Exactly, naturally. So it's kind of like that. Yeah. So I got a cut, and then I'm like, "Shit, Yo, my shit's looking pic? light." No, don't show the picture. So here, wait, wait, wait. Before before he does that, right? <laughs> okay. Him and I were sharing pictures of our hairlines and stuff, and um, 
Savon's hairline was literally Tuesday? at the back of his head, bro. Uh, <laughs> like like, the, like his neck. It was a Sunday. It was wild. It's, it's but yeah, my real, hairline. Dude, I a Yo, look, Pierre. Yeah, yeah, you can show it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Is it that crazy? So, look. Yeah, my man right there. He's not right there. So he pushed your shit yeah. back? It's probably not that nah, bad. Not it's bad. good. It's my good. man right there, he good. good. Look at it. I got, I, I got the like saving grace. You good. That's not that bad. You good. Right. You know... Pierre, they, they're lying to you. No, they're, they're lying to you. They're lying to you. No, because, no you know I wouldn't like. Remember? I've seen like middle yeah, to dude. back. You know yeah. why y'all, y'all lying to him? Why? And Pierre, this is how like I'm really a man because I'm gonna tell you the truth. Not the you line, trying to force no, Pierre. No, hold on, <laughs> bro. What you, the fuck is going on here? His head, the line is good, right? Yeah. Okay. The hairline is good, but he could. But then, watch well, this, no this. pun intended. Okay. But then <laughs> it starts to get thin. But let me tell you why. I think it looks oh, Okay, okay. Let me, that's where it's like. Let me tell you why that's no problem. Okay. The hairline being there is the most essential part. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. yeah you, you, still have a line. you can you can add supplements. Yes. You can do things to add to yes. the hair around it. Even if it's faded on the corners. Straight. Even if it's faded on the corners. Oh, I ain't see. Let me but see. But that's gonna happen. That's, that's what, gonna happen. Bro, that's no, gonna happen. It's yeah. gonna happen. Sucks. No, you know I'm not Listen. lying because we showed a oh, picture. Oh, you good. Savon, when when Savon oh, showed his picture good. of He's, the, this is good. remember Savon's painting set picture, <laughs> yeah, bro. and he showed me a picture. I laughed. There's a <laughs> line. There's a line. <laughs> There's a line. There's a line. <laughs> look, okay, I didn't look at the edges. There's a line. Yeah. Look, I'm, I'm still here. I'm. It's, yeah, you did it's with there. It's going back. Don't all of us fade here? No, not with me. Absolutely not. Like little like corners here. So when I was talking to some people, just get the drop out in the middle. And still, you know, yeah. P- P- or some people like the line just goes to the back. It does make back. me wonder which one I would have rather had because sometimes I have blotches here. Yeah. So I'm like, would I rather Snatch have it. had like you don't want the corners to go? Oh, nah, you don't want you the don't corners to go. The, corners, the corners is everything. Yeah, the corner, I think the blotches are easier to cover up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like to blend out. The corners so. you don't want the corners to go. I'm taking so, a trip to Turkey next week. Word? Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go. Oh, you know what to do? Stop. Yeah. Quick look. Quick look. I'm gonna okay. follow Tori. Hey, quick we look. Men and their hairlines. Man. <laughs> Would y'all never do that? <laughs> Turkey? Yeah. Nah, that's too much. It's a, I'm not like I'm. Actually, I would have. <laughs> there's, there's no, still there's no, no chance did. of you saving it. No, at this point, no, because everybody knows. <laughs> not right. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> if, I'm at, if I'm at this level. <laughs> I'm going. You're going like to okay, prevent because shit? you you don't got to tell nobody. Yo, don't don't use don't use my so man here as your subject. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm the break of the standard. That's a good standing. <laughs> that's yeah. tough. If I'm at this level, I will go to Turkey and get my shit done. Yeah, but save on, you can't now I because can't you made it. it so hot. Yeah. Like you talk about your ball head every week. Bro. Yo, imagine one week <laughs> save on pull up with dreads. <laughs> Like nigga, damn, why I did that shit? If bro. Savon came back with dreads, I'd be yeah, you, then you know what's going on. I can't even imagine. I wouldn't even be mad. Like. <laughs> That's fine. So <laughs> we started on some piano. We was on the phone for about two hours. Oh like, shit! On a I was Sunday. Telling, oh, yeah, that's on a cute. Sunday. We was on the phone for about two yeah. hours. About an hour and a half was us talking about hairlines. Yeah. I'm telling them all the research that I did. Yeah. I'm like, oh yo, you gosh. gotta go to Turkey because in the U.S. <laughs> they haven't perfected black hair. Oh, they just have that's it. very okay. important. That's yeah. why everybody go like I was really giving him the science to it. But that's then fine. he was like, yo, I wonder what Alex does. Like, what's his regimen? <laughs> I don't need a regimen, bro. I keep a light season. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is so wrong with Alex, these niggas? So I was like, bro, I don't know what Alex does with like, But clearly Alex knows there too, because his beard is very full. Who is that? So clearly so you know a lot of hair to. stuff. Nah. I, I don't know if I said this before, but for a long time. Yeah, you long, saw pictures of me and my shit in COVID. Yeah, not nah, nah, not really. But for a long time, I thought you was on the same on program. Yeah, nah. Same what does that program? mean? <laughs> the, the, the the official baldy, like nah, no coming oh, back. Man. This is my style, though. P- uh, Savon likes bring his shit up, though. I don't know. <laughs> Salute to be safe. This when do you choose friendly. to not wear a hat? Um, at home. At home. That's it. Sleeping. Yeah. yeah. If I if I yeah. leave my house, we'll never catch the baldy in, in public. Church, you want to see it right church. now? Church. <laughs> I'll do it for you. Church. Because yeah. you're my man. Alex, yeah. after you. It's a very Church. special episode, Yo, don't take guys. no fucking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, that cameraman started getting ready. Get ready. God God cameraman did. started getting Yo, ready. for you? Anything for you, bro. Oh, bro. Nah, chill. You get too excited. Get ready to clip this up. Yo, Back. if you put some special effects shit. on nah, this. Nah, 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 I don't even got the camera on you right now. I put this shit on my head. I got the camera on you. I'm shining like, I got it. Yo, this is my shit. This like, my shit. Is, that shit is uh, blinding. This my shit. I promise y'all we got a good episode coming. Yo, this my shit. <laughs> I don't... Yo, I didn't do think it was that bad. again, bro. Yeah. You, <laughs> that's the one that time I can see it. <laughs> but nah, yo. Yeah, that was it. Salute. I just wanted to start with that. <sighs> oh, I love it. We I got mad shit to talk about. We, we shouldn't be yes. talking about my hairline. Do you wear a hat, yo, do you wear I've never seen the cameraman smile like that. Do you wear the hat in the bedroom? Yo, why are you... This nigga smiling crazy on my head and shit. He was excited. He was excited. I ain't seen him laugh. He was excited. Yo, what the fuck? What's up? What's up, Fari? What up? I can't... Yo, the first thing he did when he walked in, I complimented him. 
Come on. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but we do have a ton to talk oh, about on the podcast shit. today. Um, speaking of Diddy, I said no Diddy. We got Diddy. We got yeah. Um, we don't feel, got Diddy. But yeah, we'll I was gonna be, say when you said that, I was like, oh, who got Diddy? Diddy? We'll be speaking about him. Though. No, we got Diddy. Well, we gotta nah, introduce ourselves, nah, nah, nah. or else Karen nah. will get mad at us. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> need to know podcast. I go by the name Savon. Yeah, what up, y'all? It's your boy A. As always, the Paco Ramon Poppy. I'm never alone. I'm always with the posse. Hello, guys. Me, Reggie, and I know, I know, I wore this jacket three weeks ago. Reggie, they didn't um, know that. I'm just trying to get cares. ahead of it so no one makes fun of me and calls me an awkward repeater, <laughs> but I just wanted to get a picture in this today, so. <laughs> <laughs> and we have my favorite guest. Sorry to reveal this, but hey. he really is my favorite guest. Uh, to my right, we have Edin, the master potter, the yeah, most yeah, entertaining. Yeah, yeah. And I love when he comes through because Hi, we always have God. amazing episodes with him. What up, what up, brother? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me here. Good Sa- to have you Sa- back. Savon texted me at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I was like, I'm there. Oh. <laughs> he's there. He's there. He's gone. Prioritize you can say no. Yeah. Don't be forced. You can say, you can say oh, no. I did not feel forced whatsoever. Oh. Yeah, like, oh. Look at Edin prioritizing. I might get to Thank see you. his hairline that day. <laughs> and here we are. You manifest it. There you go. My shit is bad. My shit is bad. My shit is bad. <laughs> I don't yeah, think yeah. Be now would you. I want to go bald? Yeah. Not yet. It's Not gonna yet. happen. Yeah. I think that's a man. That's how you. Well, you gotta like accept. Yeah. If you're past twenty five, sorry. If you're past twenty five, <laughs> so you're gonna have to eventually accept the I'm fact that rich. your corners are gonna come out. Like get ready for it. You know, start you mentally have to get preparing. ready for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But this, like, I'd be so jealous. Like the niggas that don't experience that, they are really God's favorite. Facts. <laughs> Damn. That's a fact. I'm so Look at what you gave. Would you rather? God's okay. Favorite is Bob. Would you rather? This nigga is crazy. Your hairline is gone. Yo. Right. Yeah. It's either your hairline is gone or you have ED. Mm. Oh, that's easy. Like strong ED. Damn. Oh, that's strong? easy. Like, oh, like, I'd rather take no hairline. Erectile dysfunction. dysfunction yeah, right. yeah, yeah, I'd rather have no hairline. Mm. You want to be easy. able to use your Johnson. The hairline yeah, yeah, yeah. is more fixable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more fixable. Just put a hat on. Mm. That's true. Hey. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's hey. it. Erectile dysfunction. Change your diet. Drink more water. There you go. Mm-hmm. Come on now. Eat bananas. For some. Need to for know some. podcasts. Yeah. There you mm-hmm. go. For some. Hello. Yo, Savon, they were saying you got the Aaron Jones. What happened? No, never mind. Go ahead. What do you say? No, you good. You said my shit looked like who? I nah, ain't Nero. Aaron Jones? I'm not familiar. Who the heck right, is that? Mind. No, because then he's going to pull up the image and he's like, you mother... <laughs> yeah, I don't need that. I don't need that. Your, your friends should stay your friends. I'm going to just keep it that way. Uh, but yeah, thank you yeah, for man. pulling up, bro. We had a ton to talk yeah, about. Man. Honestly, so when I hit you up, oh. I had oh, yeah. no idea. Like, I don't know your allegiances. I don't know who you're a fan of. Um, and I was trying not to say before the mics came on. But did you know... And I wasn't expecting to meet one in the flesh unless I went to like the East West Coast. I'm sorry. I don't know. But you're like a real Kendrick fan. I do love Kendrick Lamar. Yes. I didn't know <gasps> that. You gave it yes. away. That's not that crazy. Right? What do you mean? Like, the, the, like yeah. We're, we're I didn't know you're team Kendrick yet. Can I see where we're split though? Well, I don't, I, I don't know where we are. And that's the funny thing. So anybody who well, doesn't know okay, by now, the of, album's been out for a week. Yeah, outside of the, the beef, no pause, I would say, I just want to let him know that J. Cole's my favorite rapper of all time. Of all time? Yes. I didn't know that. I wow. thought he was just your favorite of uh, the big three. How didn't you know that? Definitely no. like No, no, no. I thought one, it was like, just one of her favorite of the current of generation. Of all time? Like, he's like all my fa- time. Yeah, like, my favorite everybody. artists of all time yeah. are Stevie Wonder and J. Cole. Oh, wow. That's wow. fine. That's actually a really nice mix. Yeah, it's yeah. a pretty yeah. good combination. Yes. I can't And then once I get to women singers, it's too many, but like, Got you. yeah. Got you. Of all time? Yes, of all time. Wow. Two niggas I can't see? <laughs> oh, D. Who can't see? Wait, why can't Cole see? I don't get it. That nigga I'm thought he was slow. part of the big three. Hold on. I, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like bad shit. joke. I see what you did there. Is he not? Bad joke. He is part of the big three. Oh, Let's shut up. Going to, no, you're not You're acting like you're talking about Big Sean or something. No, 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 yo. Not the stray already. Damn. Not, he <laughs> didn't do shit. And happy birthday, Big Sean, by the way. <laughs> it's my Aries brother, too. That's my Aries brother. What up? Hi, yeah, yeah. Eddie, you good? I just, I didn't see the, I didn't understand that. I'm sorry. I'm baffled. Um, Glock 9 out. I will say this. I will say this. Wow. Before we get into Future's album, I really think Future's album is dope. And yeah, I feel I like it's been dope. overshadowed by some of like the bullshit that came with it. But I don't even think he minded. Like he he cared about that because he would have went about it different if he did. Like I think this was very intentional. Yeah. But before we even get into that, I want to shout out Cat Williams again. Listen, man. Because Cat, Cat Williams told us this is the year. This is There's the year where everything is coming out. Yeah. Like he warned us like all the and we secrets. looked at him. Cr- he just said, this is the year of the truth. Like yeah. you can't hide from the truth. Mm. And I feel like as Dang, a society, we needed that cleanse. That is like the theme of this year, I would say. We needed that cleanse. Yeah, this is definitely the year of revelation. Because we always <laughs> kind of sure. knew for like the last year. Well, depending on who you're speaking on, right? So for Drake and Future, we, Alex, yeah. I want to give my good brother Alex Chill. his credit. <gasps> I was going to do it. Oh, go do it. So speaking of like 
Savon they was fighting saying, to give me credit. Look, I like Savon, that. I want to join. I love gassing my friends up. So Savon was saying, you know, shout out to Cat Williams because he knew. Another person that already knew, and I'm sorry I'm getting ahead of myself, Alex. You know, we had a timeline to good discuss girl. this. But Get your shit off when you're talking that good Twitter, stuff about me. Everybody was saying, they were screenshotting um, for all the dogs, <laughs> what will Pluto do? They were like, yo, nobody knew that Drake was beefing with Future. And in my head, I was like, Alex called it yo. literally in October. Like the yo. day after Fall of the Dogs came out, Alex was like, guys, it's about Future. Future and Drake are beefing. I hate to say I told y'all so. He, so he said it. He We have proof. We clipped it. Like, yeah. He been said it. Nah, yeah, you know, the writing was on the wall at that time. <laughs> What's so funny? Like, yeah, I'm, just, I'm, right. I'm, expect, I'm He's I'm, taking his credit. Right. I, know, I, like, I love it. I'm like, like, accepting it's my, my It's a very speech. humble, like, no, he, accepted, yeah, no, he was like, yeah. yes, yeah. Reggie, Thank I am you. right. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I'm a rap nerd. He and is. I, for one, I like paying attention. I like reading the writing on the wall. I want to dedicate this episode to all the rap fans. Mm-hmm. You fucking won. Did you? We fucking we won. Yes, win. no, because this is a real hip hop beef. Won. We fucking won. We won. What do you mean? Is, it, we is it a real beef? How is yes. it not? Oh, oh shit, this is oh. great. See, what this is why mean? we need it. Today. I feel like this is still one of the most boring rag beef so far. You don't believe that? It's right still now? early. It's right still now? early. Oh, right, right now? We're, we're, as we're recording, the, this, as right? As like, yes. Got you. Right now, it's boring as fuck. You think so? Yeah. You don't think? Um. You don't think it's? And I love Kendrick. I think the alignment of uh. A Marvel sort of end game movie oh, here is it's not gonna happen. I love it. It's I, already it's, happening. I think it's happening. I don't think this is gonna be end game. You need a, you need movies it. before end game, right? It's not gonna be end game. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. See I agree, agree with that. that. You need some movies that. to get but to end game. But I feel like that's yeah. what everyone's looking for. They're looking for now they're looking for the responses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think they're coming. Because because mm. Drake in the past he has literally dropped a response in like twenty four hours. So but before we even get into that, before we get into that, let's just kind of like, 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 real quick, real quick, because you talked about the future. Future album. dropped the phenomenal album. Right yeah, we don't phenomenal album. Him and Metro Boomin. Yeah. Um, I want to say Metro Boomin, and this is how I truly, he is probably the best producer of the last ten years. Uh, I'm mad at it. Ten Word. years, easy. Best nah. producer last ten years, um, and I think. This one, he wanted to say fuck you to Drake. For sure. <laughs> They've already Every had some beat problems. felt like fuck you. <laughs> Every single beat felt like this is aimed at this nigga to me. It's I, funny you're saying that, and I'm glad you're saying it, because I saw a lot of people discuss how simple Metro's beats are and how yeah, he right. needs to switch up his formula. And yeah, right. uh, as a person that makes beats, I'm mm-hmm. glad you said that shit, Savon, yeah. because it, sometimes just dialing it back a little bit is good. Mm-hmm. All of that extra ness, yeah. like, and yeah, gra- yeah, yeah. if you're really listening to Metro's Beast, mm-hmm. they have a really good progression to it. They, to, it <laughs> I, I can't, I, I, honestly, I can't really ex- explain it. Yeah. And maybe as the technical people, Ed and Alex, you being a producer, it, there's a feeling that you get like Hit Boy, right? Hit Boy, he's been on an amazing run. And I don't want to take anything away from Hit Boy. As but you do. there hasn't been a project that I listened to outside of this project with Future and, and Metro Boomin where I was like, yo, I feel this music. It reminds me of early, early uh, Travis Scott. Do y'all remember like Days Before Rodeo, Travis Scott? Yeah. That music was immersive. You know, like it just gave you a feeling. And I feel like Metro tapped back into that with Future. Mm-hmm. It has kind of like an ominous, like kind of like, remember when he, his early collab days with 21 Savage? Mm-hmm. Like that kind of, not scary, but like kind of horror movie type, like yeah. score yeah. type yeah. of sound. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of sounded like mat- score. That. Yeah. 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 That's, that's a, good a good word, word for it. It that's had a, a nostalgic feel on it too. Like with the song, um, Ain't No Love, that has a uh, Zaytoven production mm-hmm. on it. And it oh. sounds very 2012 Zaytoven Gucci man type shit. Mm-hmm. Even on um Yeah I'm High, uh Fraud. Oh, that's my shit. Yeah, I'm I high. cannot that wait. That sounded like a rap beat from 2011. Wait yeah. to be on a fucking highway. Yeah, I'm fried. Yeah, I'm fried. I can't yeah, wait I'm to be high. fried on the highway, bro. Yeah. Hey, I can't too. only in the passenger seat though. <laughs> yeah. Ah, see, I'm not driving we don't, we don't fried. Nah, we don't drive fried. Yeah. But bro, you did drop in and style today. Huh? What? Uh, 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 oh, 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 yeah. oh, I can't oh, 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 <laughs> Real nice. Oh, real oh, nice. You walk down the lane now. Twin. <laughs> hey. oh, what happened, oh, man? I was waiting for that. Too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank okay, you, bro. Hold up. For all the audio <laughs> listeners, they just bumped their uh, keys. BMW keys. They just, they just <laughs> synced, they synced <laughs> keys. Yeah, so both my boys Yo, drive BMWs you. now. Hey, that boy so pulled ladies, up in that thing. So you guys are the Beamer boys? 
So oh, like that. Right, I'll take that. I'll so take that. Like that. I'll take that. BBs. Yeah. I can't I'm wait to listen to BBs. I'm Fried in my BBs. No, but you did already. It sounded good, didn't it? But I should have got the Tesla. Huh? Why? No. We just gave all that love yeah, to Beavis. Yeah, what just happened? No, 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 no. Why did you just... <laughs> Why did you say that? Because when I What's hear I'm fried, I, I want to be fried. Oh, like the auto And then it's on auto? Yeah, the oh, Beamer don't drive okay, it. Okay, okay. <laughs> it don't drive me. Like, I still have to drive, so I can't be fried and drive the BMW. Like, the Tesla, I could have been fried. Guys, yeah, your next step is you got to get a driver. BMW, but first, I need to learn how to drive. Hey, <laughs> that's coming. <laughs> What's stopping you from driving? I'm kidding. This bit has gone on way too Pretty long. Pretty privileged. I actually know how to drive. Now she does. I was about to say I don't know why I pretend I can't drive, but don't you I have a license? Drive. Yo, honestly, I wasn't yeah. supposed to say this on air, but I next no for Dreamville Fest, right. I'm going out there with Land Rover. Like it's like a trip with Land Rover, so I have to drive for like mad long. So I do oh, I can't drive. Guys. That sounds amazing. Yeah, my co-host lit. Y'all heard her. Yeah. She said Range Rover pulling her up to the sponsor. I mean, you heard her. Oh yeah, shit! Yeah, so to all the people that say I can't drive, yes I can. You can't wear a motorcycle Wait. jacket. <laughs> <laughs> and not know how to drive. I know. Anything. It's a hard jacket. I'm sorry. This bit has gone way too long. It's getting annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like annoying myself. Yeah. But no, I thought the music was phenomenal. I thought Absolutely. a lot of the features, everything made sense. And this is mm. why I thought it, like everybody speculating is the Civil War. For because sure. all of the features, mm -hmm. they don't like that light skin nigga. Of course. Man. Yeah. Damn. They don't like them. They don't like them. No. I, mean, I, I don't make this shit up. Like it's right there. It's obvious as fuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when Ed, Ed and when you said it's like kind of like the more boring beefs, because I see what you're saying. More, it's like, the more obvious. Beefs. Nothing, nothing crazy happened yet, but I think just the fact it's that it is like kind of civil war shit that is what makes it so like, oh shit. Is it strategic like that? Yes. I there's like one side of it, and then there's another side. All right. Yeah. So I saw a really good comment because I don't want to act like I thought about this myself. <clears throat> Got you. Because <laughs> I don't want to do that. No, be like me and just but, take credit for and it. And it was like, <laughs> and it was like. The reason there's high, obviously this beef has been going on for years and years and years and Which years. Which beef? No, did he? Well, let's just say, <laughs> let's just say mainly uh, Kendrick and Drake, right? Okay. Let's just do that one because okay. that one the, that's kind of the the Iron Man of this whole thing, right? There you go. See, if we want to okay, do the whole analogy. Right? Uh, right. He's right. playing along. He's playing along. So, someone said that the only reason why this beef works out so well right now is because of the hype of who it's being tailored to. Okay. Not necessarily the bars itself. Do you guys agree or disagree? I completely disagree. Disagree. Uh, and I will say, it's hard uh -huh. to get us to agree on a rap topic. That is very true. <laughs> so the Yo, they just be sitting here <laughs> screaming yeah. at each other. I don't like agreeing with this nigga. The only thing Same. I ever want to agree with him on Same. is his car selection. <laughs> Are we surprised that Kendrick Lamar yeah. is not going to admit there's a big three? So I, feel, no, I feel like Kendrick like would have. I feel like he would have been okay with like, yes, this is a big three. That wasn't crazy to off me. Off rip, easiest thing, just control. Uh -huh. Of I'm course, listening. he's not gonna admit there's a big three right. ever, 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 ever. I feel like that's the most obvious thing ever. But I think he did admit that it was a big three. I think he just said he acknowledged fuck it. it. Yeah, he said there is a big three, but fuck them especially, niggas. Especially when you said the music, right? When I when I take a look at uh, Kendrick's verse on like that, which is on no, Features yeah. album, mm -hmm. which is what we're discussing. From the first word to the last word, everything meant something. <laughs> when I first listened to it, I didn't realize that every single thing, every single bar was a shot. And if we can go all the way back to first person shooter, because a lot of people online are probably confused. Like, so a lot of J. Cole fans, so a lot of Drake fans in a dismal, <laughs> you know, right? just, just speechless. They didn't know what to say because they know how high level of a rapper Kendrick is. Mm -hmm. And why the fuck would they come at their grades? If you guys remember First Person Shooter, on that verse, J. Cole does say, since everybody's steppers now, fuck it, I'm eating my breakfast. Kendrick, Mal, Kendrick Lamar last album, Mr. Morale, and the, and the Big, big Steppers. steppers. Mm -hmm. Get what I'm saying? Drake keep calling himself Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but <laughs> before we even get to Drake, I'm listening. So I, I, like, that, how, First Person I, I like how you did the Kendrick yeah. and J. Cole. Because I feel like. Yeah. J. Cole is just, he got, he's an innocent bystander. That's what I think too. But he's also, no, no, he did. He, he just did got shot no. because he was in the no, car. He no. did call out Kendrick too. He literally just said I it. Just said like, no, he did. <laughs> so but what do you mean? I feel like that. And like, he did it on the song called First Person Shooter. I mean, J. Cole is not, talk, he's not innocent in this. Like, where y'all are talking about being the best. This nigga called himself Muhammad Ali. All right, yeah. so we, let's oh, stay on Cole. I wish I could have been in the room to see Kendrick when he heard J. Cole say that shit. <laughs> yeah. But what like, is he supposed to call himself? Yeah, I was just about to no, ask Muhammad the same Ali. What should he call himself? Eden just said that we should all know that there's a big three, right? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. no. 
We should already knew that there wasn't a big three to Kendrick Lamar. To Kendrick Lamar. He oh, knew that already. Oh, you being biased. <laughs> oh, 100%. That's why I'm biased. <laughs> okay. yeah, still, can you guys yeah. pick a bias or this could be more fun? That's why I'm curious. Okay. That's why I said. You want me to pick early? I'm team Kendrick here regardless. Okay. And I'm team Cole. Okay. Today, I'm I'm, I'm definitely team Kendrick. Same on his team the weekend. Today, team tomorrow, and the next day. <laughs> Today, tomorrow, the next day, Kendrick. <laughs> I'm Team Kendrick. I already know where this is going. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, I'm team I know where this is going. I know oh, wait, where this is going. Like, my, my wait, your future then. My Apple Music. <laughs> yeah, you My Apple Music tells me I'm Team Drake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot but, about Drake. <laughs> but, yeah, that's all I'm like. I knew this is what happened. But my heart, my heart tells me future. Future, yeah, yeah. yeah. It seems like that. you're leaning my, towards yeah, future now. Yeah, yeah. But before we even get into Fuck like the, 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 the Kendrick and the Drake <laughs> thing, I'm going to just like, let's map out the J. Cole shit. Yeah. Okay. Because I feel like that was unexpected to me. Mm. I didn't expect friend- that. Yeah, people like, do think they're frenzies. We so. thought they were like at least cordial, but then shout out to Ice on the Joe Bunn podcast. I feel like he really broke it down. You're oh, shaking yeah. your head. Oh, yeah. you no, 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 no. I, no, I, I will. I, shout out to Ice, but I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about more. Like I never thought they were Edith, really? cordial either. <laughs> why not? As a as a Kendrick why? fan, why don't you? It, what, what, but what? But why? No yeah. speculation. Wait, why, of the collab album. He's King Kendrick. Thank you. Oh, brother. No, no, that's seriously. It. Wait, what? There's king, there's king, queen, and then everything under. <laughs> oh my god! You don't got yeah, king here, no. king there. No, fuck that. I never believed they were close. I don't believe <laughs> when it come to high level assassins. I don't believe anything they say. Only what they rap about. Real shit. I never thought they was close. People, t- uh, oh, when they did um the Black Friday song, they hopped on each other's song. Alex, they was cool. Oh no, they was gonna work on the album. Why the album never came out? Right. <laughs> That's the funniest one. Why the album never came out? <laughs> Huh? Mm. That's true. Think I just thought it. they were too busy. <laughs> well, I, I didn't the think big, they were enemies. I think the big step oh, yeah. in line. I think that was very intentional by J. Cole. Mm. I'm kind of surprised. It made me look at J. Cole in a different light. Because I expect Drake to be petty and throw shots like that. Yeah. I don't necessarily expect that from J. Cole. It wasn't like a crazy shot though. But it was, it was like, a it shot. Was hip, like, hip, like it was like a bar. It was a but bar. it's it's if you're my man, I don't expect J. Like I feel like J. Cole has unwavering loyalty. Mm-hmm. Right, so, so to in, like anybody, whoever he's loyal to, I feel like his loyalty is unwavering. So for him to even throw the word "stepper" out, when you're a wordsmith, you have like the 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 dictionary is at like your disposal. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like you have so many synonyms that you don't have to say "steppers." Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. He could have said so, anything, yeah, it was but intentional. so yeah, it yeah. was intentional for him to go at Kendrick. But- I don't know, cause but Jake, it's just unlike mm-hmm. him for me. The mm-hmm. way that I see Kendrick, I don't see him taking that route. Drake, he's the petty lyricist. He's the guy who's going to throw subliminals. Mm-hmm. He's going to let you know, like, I don't really fuck with you, but I fuck with you, but I don't want... You know what I'm saying? Like, I expect that more from Drake than I do from J. Cole. But J. Cole, like, the what he said, like, J. Cole's, at the end of the day, he's like a real-ass rapper. Like, he's a real rapper, studied hip-hop, all that. So it's not like he said some salacious, oh, yeah. petty bar. He, he said, like, a bar, like, and this is, like, so, hip-hop beef. So I don't know. It didn't really catch me off. Hard. I'm gonna say this, and and then we can comment based off this, because this was J Cole out of his own mouth. And, and you gotta push them, you know what I mean? Where it's like no one is truly my peer or can relate to what I'm going through in life more than these people right here. You know, like nobody can really relate to that. He's talking about Drake like and uh, Kendrick Lamar. And I really genuinely fuck with these dudes. So like, mm-hmm. I've been trying to, you know, absolutely make an effort. Like as time goes on, to like strip the competition from it. Like, y'all niggas are submitted for The competition part, I've stripped away, and I'm now on some shit like, man, I'm more interested in the relationship because I also see a time when I'm not doing this. That seems very realistic to me. And in a time when I'm not doing this, oh, I don't want to be like, I mean, we never kicked it, you know what I mean? Like, we never really even did nothing. So I'm more interested in the genuine relationship. Hmm. I do think he meant that when he said it. So now I'm like, wait, what happened? You can still kick it and you can still rap. It doesn't matter. That's uh, that's mm-hmm. one thing I do like about this rap beef going on right now, is that it's steering away from where we've seen a lot in the last last two years, right? Mm-hmm. Where people are just going on the timeline and handling it, handling it on the timeline. Yeah. No matter who it is, that's what I've been seeing. Yeah. Now, when you're actually like putting a verse out there, and I, you know, it's funny. I don't it, it, as much as it's on Futures and and Boomin's album. That's not even a part of it for me. I just feel like that was a messenger right there, who got to deliver this and make it happen. Cole, Cole sees the friendships and shit like that, but when there's a beef, you got a beef. For me, that's it. But that's why it's for like, and Young. How did he be the one to initiate it with the Steppers line? I don't think if he initiated it. Talking like though. that, 
then why would you even say the word steppers alongside Drake? Who again, like he said, these are my peers. So there's no way that he went into a recording with Drake and didn't know how Drake and Kendrick feel about each other. Oh, of course. Oh, he probably there's yeah, he knew. He there's knew. no way in hell after he said that out of his mouth that he went into a studio and said, you know what? I'm going to lay this verse. I'm going to say the word steppers. And I'm not going to assume Kendrick to think that I'm talking about him. It's no way. The worst that... I knew what he was doing. No, he didn't he say K-Dot's name in... Uh, yeah, he did. In yeah, the first, yeah. first version. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, I knew what he was doing. So, yeah. The worst yeah, he, he said, fight, right? The worst he said on, on the track, right, about Cole was what? Was Motherfuck the Big Three? A motherfucker, the big three, probably that Steppers line. And then that's also, a slick shot. But that's, that's a sli- but that's about it. I don't, I don't, I don't really involve yeah. Cole in this like that, honestly. Oh no, I, I really don't. I, I not like honestly. deeply. That's why I still like, go with what Savon said that he's a bystander. No, yeah. no, I, I don't think he's a bystander. I don't think he's. I, I do no. think I get what they're saying. Like it's not as much about Cole, but I don't think Cole's innocent in this either. Like oh, okay, he's yeah, very I much mean, involved. J Cole can't keep saying on everybody's feature and every time he drops a song that he's the best. And, and 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 for somebody like a Kendrick Lamar to just stay calm. The nigga said the Spider-Man meme is me looking at Drake. I know Kendrick Lamar fasted for 40 days oh. and for 40 nights after he heard that. <laughs> you can't say things like, I'm the best, I'm Muhammad Ali, I'm this, I'm that. And you got a sniper with camouflage 140 kilometers away. <laughs> and the contents of his home, waiting for a moment. Nah, bro. Cole, Cole's the type to throw the rocks, hide his hand a little bit. You know, and maybe if he maybe he doesn't feel this way because I do well, feel like he'll respond, but maybe his fans feel that. What way. part of this yeah. is him hiding his hands though? Um, if if he doesn't decide to respond as at the time of this recording, oh, I was like, oh, I didn't start it, like type yeah, shit, but yeah, you yeah. actually did, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like hmm. you were deaf, like you said, he's no, he's not innocent, he's not a part of this, and everybody has been coining him the best lyricist, the best rapper. Reggie, no, no salute. I'm not trying to throw no shots. I'm just for the past. No, two, I'm offended for the past two or three years, <laughs> right? We've given the pen. The call. Yep. Mm-hmm. That has been the consensus, right? Consensus. Mm-hmm. Right. I do like that this clearly bothered Kendrick. I do I like that it. though. I think it's cute. It's like, oh fuck. Makes like sense. now he needs to like he feels he does feel the need to like prove himself, and I think that's good. Yes, absolutely. I don't think he's proving himself. Who? Kendrick? <laughs> like, that proving himself? Weak. He has to prove himself. That's why he's doing this. He's like, why. he's like, guys, like you guys cannot out rap me. Like, no, I'm still here. He gotta prove himself. That's what he's doing. That's why he I did don't it. see a, a I do I personally don't see any back and forth coming from out of this. All right, but you're How going too you fast. See that? You're going too fast. You're going right, too fast. Right, one by one, all right, all right. right? He he has to. Let me let me tell you why he has, has to. to. Who has uh, to? Kendrick. Oh. How Kendrick is viewed to people who are in his fan base or his mm-hmm. core, they look at him as a dude that takes mad long to respond to shit or mm-hmm. hella long to put out music, mm-hmm. right? That's number one. Number two, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, that shit won a Grammy. But people don't talk like that album won a Grammy. It did? Yeah. I didn't know. See that? Don't shade. Crazy don't shade. See that? Nah. Li- See, that's, that's my point. just said it. That's my point. <laughs> that's my point. I need confirmation. Like, it that's my point. Yeah. I know Absolutely. That. Absolutely. The funniest part about okay. this is, um, I guess maybe how Kendrick has been painted or viewed, he the only one that has at least unde- three undeniable classics. Good Kid, Mad City. Yeah. Wait. Well, not say Wait. Does Drake one. not? You, Kendrick uh, has two. Yeah, I want to do this. Kendrick has two. To Pimp a Butterfly? No. It's funny because I'm kind of Savon. I'm with Savon. Of course you're with Savon. Savon. I love I love Oh, you said Savon. 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 Yeah. Savon. I love I love what it's Dan. I love Dan bro. way more. Savon. I'm gonna tell you it's why it's a classic. classic. You ready? Bro. Are you ready? Like, and this is when you're Are you ready? Are you ready? Can I finish? No, the hip hop nerds give me tight with that album. It's a good album. It's a good album. It had a great message. It's not a classic. Kendrick Lamar is the only rapper with a Pulitzer. Okay, cool. You can be sarcastic. Nah, you. that's what's up. I'm gonna, but that is the reason why it's a classic. It's the only rap album no, it that's one of Pulitzer. Make it a classic. I can't give it a classic off of that. That doesn't make it a classic. Bro, y'all are because makes it, I feel like societal accolades and hip hop accolades are two different. Let me things. go to the track list, bro. Y'all bugging. It doesn't make no, it. No, it's a fire album. It, it, it doesn't make bugging. it. A but classic. I, if that's if that was the if that was the argument for me <sighs> to be like that's a classic, I can't do it. Facts. To pimp a butterfly is considered a classic. I know y'all don't like it as much. It's not. King Kunta. Wesley Story, you're not I, spinning that, bro. Who's not spinning that? <laughs> the Black of the Berry, yeah. These Walls is on there. Hood All right. Politics, no. All Right no. is on there. That's none of those songs are in his top ten. To you, they're not Facts. in his top ten. No. To you, that's no, cool. I don't know about all that. No, I, I can't I, say yeah, that. I can't maybe, maybe King Kunta. 
All right. Is, all, all right. right is is not what you talking about? All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what you're talking about. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. We're not going to be all right. No. We're going to be all right. Yeah. But. And damn. Damn was just Damn was an amazing album. Certainly. So I thought Damn way ahead of the. To people, this, this is loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Like, yeah. To people, but to me, it's okay. not a. It's a great album. It's a yeah. great body of work, and I think it has a great message. It's a classic. But I think we throw around that word "classic" too much, and it's I also think I also believe we don't give credit where credit is due. I think Jay Call has two classics, which is I think "Born Sinner," but you heard what okay. I said. I said "Undeniable." Like that is undeniable. Well, these two guys literally the just denied it. The, so. But the only I feel no, like. the <laughs> only reason why people don't say Born Center is an undeniable classic it's not a, it's is not because the blogs didn't pick it up as an undeniable classic when it dropped. It's not true. That's it's, the only to pick up my heart. It's not picked up by the blogs. Everybody what? hated it. Everybody hated to no. pimp a butterfly when it came no, out. No, the they, did, they did. They the did. The people hated it. The no, blogs no loved it. The blog the inter- loved to the, the butterfly. internet loved that Yo, album, bro. bro. You forgetting? No, I'm not. Od, because I was one of the people that hated it, and and I'm looking at yo. Why does everybody love this shit? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> loved it. The, the that media, was a lot to say, Bond, bro. But... The media loved it. The people hated, hated it. it. No. That's what determined that album as a classic. Purist, I don't know any purist, r- I, not bro, the media. The I don't know any person. It. Literally, not the media. Look, I don't know a person in yeah. my day to day. Who looks at that album and says, "Oh, this is a great album." I mean, that's, you don't know that, anyone that that's, looks at that album. That's, 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 that's not a good thing, bro. But, all right. <laughs> like, when I say fuck? great, I mean classic. It's a flex. I mean that's classic. Not a flex, bro. I mean classic. It's not a flex. Not a. It's not a. It's not a classic. Oh, classic. Okay. It's not a classic, bro. It's not better than Good Kid, Mad City. Leave it in the And it's not better than Damn. They're gonna tell you. It's not better than those two albums. And I don't think that album is better than Damn. I don't think that album is better than Damn. I think personally, in that argument, that means both of them are classics. Not to me. By his, that's by his thinking. I don't align with that. So which one is better? Out of, those, out of those three, <laughs> rank those three. Rank, rank those yep. three from Watch what this. I like or just in general. Yep. Good Kid, Mad City, uh-huh. Damn, and To Pimp a Butterfly. All right. They're all classics to me. So what oh, those that are the three classics. I just yeah. said, I, I just wanted you to rank them. <laughs> That's but fine. That is the third. Yeah. So if I were to argue which one isn't a classic. Based on your ranking, that's the that's would the be, one. That would be the most. I mean, d- 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 I guess I don't know. No, not you guess. You know, bro. I'm t- you just I'm said t- my three in bro, your opinion. But to, but your argument makes no sense because to me they're classics okay. regardless right. of the placement. Uh, all right. yeah, like, mm-hmm. They're okay. all classic know, albums to me because like. It could. You just said like to you that they're classics, and I feel like there's really big arguments for why it is a classic and then why it isn't a classic. But regard, r- regardless of Kendrick having classic, he's phenomenal. He's top ten, yes. all time. Some people got him as top five. I think when he does what he did on like that, it cements him as clearly top ten. To me, at, he, yes. he's easily a top ten rapper. It. I'm not mad at it. I'm and not then mad at it. I even see people talk about top five. Mm-hmm. It makes me say, you know what? I'm not mad at that. I don't know if I agree, but I'm like, I'm not mad. At of that. all time, top five. Personally, yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm not a. I, he's not in my personal. I'm top not mad five, at it, but I, I mean, he's it. in my. Yeah, he's he's in your. <laughs> where, where is he in your top five? Is he number one? I'm not mad at it. <laughs> you would probably have to be number one. Oh, That's he's weird. number one. Wait. Yeah, you see, this is the thing with being from New York. Is that no, you, people no, think? No, no, no. Like a no, wild, no. You know what it is? Because when I've had this conversation, people get mad at me when I put. They're like, it's not Jay Z. Jay Z number four. Oh Four? shit! Yeah, you wanted those. Damn, but it's just my <laughs> personal suggestion. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Bro, let me hear your top three. Then. See, that invalidates your Kendrick take now. Just for that, bro, bro. Just for you having home yeah. at full. Should have kept it to like, yourself. You don't know hip hop. The that fuck is we talking about? Can, just my favorites. It doesn't mean I think if that's if, fine, if I were to make our actual rappers, that's different, and I would have to go down to graphs. What's your favorite? Let me hear your Mount Rushmore. Because you said Hove is at four, so I just need three more. And you said Kendrick's at one, Kendrick. so there's only two. Just give us the last two. Drake. Okay. Biggie. Okay. So that's your four. And then Jay. What's yeah. wrong with that? That's not that bad. Who would be my five? I don't know who my five would be, actually. That's not, that's not terrible. That's it's not, not terrible. But um, everybody, because I don't know, I just see a, like a common thing. Is that yeah, if you're from New York. You, you gotta, gotta put Jay Z as like Jay Z or Nas number one. Well, at least you have Biggie on there, so yeah, yeah. you didn't completely deny your roots. <laughs> Brooklyn, yeah. Brooklyn won't hate me. I'm not mad at that. Yeah. I'm not mad. At that. Wait, wait. So, but I do like this combo, yeah. And even discussing what are classics for the fact that we're kind of split, that makes me wonder what you think are Cole's classic albums. That's what I wanted to get any. to. Because if you want to call yourself Big Three, that's what I wanted to get to. That's why I brought it the up. The Spider Man meme, everything, and that's why I'm to me, I'm like this beef is eh, pause, whatever. 
because I feel like it's a this is a known thing. Mm. Where does where's uh albums uh where does Cole's albums? I think the undeniable classics are Born Center and Four Souls Drive, and then also mixtapes. You can't forget Friday Night Lights and the Warm Up. But also like okay, when we talk That's about four. like Big Three, I don't want to just be Yo. like okay, does yeah, he have classic albums? No, because he really does have the least classic albums out of the Big Three. Who? But we love J. an Cole. honest fan. We love no, an I mean, honest. I fan. think he has less classic albums than Kendrick and Drake. We love an honest fan. I agree. But it's like I mean there ha- there's so much that goes into it. Like it's like oh who's the greatest basketball player of all time. Take four? one of their stats. I'm sorry, that's that's crazy. You were gonna give him I'm all four? Them three. Who? Oh, I'm giving them three. I'm giving J Cole three. What's the third one? No, she said no. One mixtape and oh. two albums. Yeah, mixtapes count because Friday Night Lights does count as a classic. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then I can do Section 80 with Kendrick, and then that that's his four. That is true. That is true. So that's if you really want, that's his third. That's his third. That's his fault. You, you're putting, oh, well, I see why. Some people put Section 80 above. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, so okay, cool. Drake. Drake is my guy. Savon, we, me and Savon used to argue about Drake when we was in college. We did a whole project it's surrounding how bonded. it. Real shit. <laughs> this podcast was birthed because of arguing about Drake. Shout out to Aubrey. Real shit. Real, real talk. See how much he has right? done for our society? It gave you guys need to know. Like, <laughs> Salute come on. to Drake. Feel me? And this is not a shot at him. Uh-oh. It, what? It's, it's, it's take care and it's nothing was the same. Where's the law? There. <laughs> Right there, denounce it. That's the well. You just give him two. <sighs> I'm sorry, but classic. Oh my god, almost damn near every Drake album was classic to me. Like oh, no, I, I just cannot. When you think Facts. about when you think about the time it came out and what it did for society, it changed the world. Oh, that's that Regency bias. I'm, <laughs> I'm not even from Toronto. I know. <laughs> wait, so, so wait, do you think what's, what? What did I leave out? You that just is? give take care. And nothing was the same for me. We yeah. can't count. Oh, yeah, I see what's gonna happen though. You say it. Well, no, say it. No, you know, well, he never right said Because they hated views when it came out. No, yeah, no, did. I love views when it came out. Who is they? Yeah, who's they? <laughs> from the boys, nigga. It's the boys. Who is they, nigga? I'm so tired. How, it's like, Savon, how the, was your memory, bro? bro? Who hated views? No, 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 no. In 2016. I got, no, no, no. This one, I what definitely, no, this is, you guys aren't about to rewrite history. They were calling him a culture vulture. They were like, what the fuck is the this? The Joe Budden rant right. with Drake was centered around views being Y'all trash. Y'all keep saying. People did hate views. Come on. People did hate views. People hated views. We don't hate it now. Uh, it, it was a, it was an album that grew on people. It gradually no, got better. It was You want to know? You know, bro, You want to uh, know how bro. I know everybody's lying when they say me. that? Because again, everybody talks about the Joe Budden rant, and yeah, he may have felt that way. But you know how I know anybody our age is lying when they say that? Because that's control. We always go to 2016. <laughs> everybody says 2016 was the year of our lives, yes. bro. They're and like, that's oh when God. views came out. Od. And everybody references that album. No, oh. no, they referenced Controller and One Dance. Thank you. And then they hated the rest of the Thank album. You. This is, yo, Twitter, they did. They Twitter, did. Twitter, leave did. it in the comments. Instagram, YouTube, leave it in the comments. I think you're forgetting, bro. Feel no ways. Feel no ways Feel was a cult. Feel no bro, ways. Bro, that's a you're naming cult classics that we enjoy, bro. Nothing that about dropped in 2016. You're not listening on this to what album. I'm saying, bro. I'm saying that we enjoy the album. Me, I was one of those people that knew off rip it was a fire album. Listen to what I'm saying. Mm. I knew off rip the album was fire. Most people hated the fucking album coming off of um. What was the album he dropped before that shit? Was that nothing was the same? Was that coming off nothing was the same? This is I think that's no 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 no. Because okay, hold on. With Savon's 2016 argument, the tweet that goes viral is always like, "Oh my god, I missed 2016. It was Controller, One Dance, and Work. They weren't talking about views. Still here, Grammys." Too good, fire and desire. Those aged better, but they Hotline were always Bling. referencing um, one you. dance controller and work. That was 2016. It was Bling. one dance. It was the singles. It wasn't the whole mm-hmm. album, bro. Feel No Ways is an amazing song. We knew that. We enjoyed the music. When that album came out, they hated that shit, bro. He they talked hated, about he talked about it in the interviews it mad new. times. They hated it because it was new. Uh, they hated wait. it because it was uncomfortable for them. Wait, that's what we're saying. But they <laughs> loved the, every time you reminisce on that year. Because that it aged well. Because it aged well. Because it aged well. That's what I'm saying. Gradually, right. it became an album that people was like, people, huh? Do I never hate, hate it. it. Bro, I, literally, I told you five okay. minutes ago, I never hated the album. Do you hate it? <laughs> huh? I don't you, hate views. You hate views? That was the first album music purchase I ever made. Oh, look at that. So what? In Damn, this room, that's pretty late. I didn't... None of us hate Oh, no, views. I bought like singles before. But an album? I've never bought an album on You never bought albums since 20, no, t- no, until 2016? I, I got the albums. I didn't download them. I didn't buy, buy, buy them. <laughs> Dang. I respect it. Um, <laughs> well, what was going to happen that I thought was the trap initially was that I was going to mention, if you're reading this, it's too late. Walk into it. But that's... Why is it a trap? It's tainted. Baby? It's tainted. Why is it, it is tainted? tainted? It is tainted. It's tainted because of Quentin Miller. <gasps> it is tainted. But it's great. 
I love it. We love I the still music. Love it. That's why I don't. I, I love the delivery. I don't want Savon to confuse what I'm saying. I love music. But you only gave him two classes. I don't, the reason why I'm identifying with it is because I remember being a fan of the music and watching everybody hate it. <laughs> I was sitting there like, "What the fuck is going on with y'all?" They didn't. They did not consider. They hated nine. They hated keep the family close. If love we're that. talking about views, but one of the best openers. They 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 didn't like uh, what was the other one. They loved the Pimp C joint. Like, bro, it was one dance. It was controller. Pop style, they didn't like that much. Too good with Rihanna wasn't work. You know what I mean? But so now that we're looking at all these heavyweights, yeah. we, we weigh the classics, we weigh the bars, we weigh the most recent controversy. How do y'all feel about what just happened last week? Because when I heard it, I was I was excited. Same. I was yeah. I was genuinely excited because I feel like hip hop has not had anything like this since Drake and Pusha T. Yeah. And when I say that, I just mean heavyweights acknowledging each other directly. I'm going to go back. Yeah. So let's go back to BET Cypher with Kendrick Lamar, which even with this freestyle from like mad long ago, you can hear these are direct shots. Like this isn't mass. I'm bulletproof. They remember that's that, that is very di- no. If I want, like, so they were never, yes, they were never yes, friends. Di- definitely, definitely direct. That was like ten years ago. <laughs> you heard Reggie? They was never friends. <laughs> <laughs> like, why, wait, hold on. Why do we ever think they were friends? Thank you. Nothing was the same. Why did Cole think they were friends in this argument? No idea. Hey, don't bring Cole into this. <laughs> nah, but that was literally the interview y'all pulled up. Yes. Wait, he wasn't just firing at Drake. No. Oh fuck! I missed it. Wait, wh- who? Wait. No, this no, was and this him. was just to this Drake. was just yeah, Drake. Yeah. Okay, okay, that, okay, that that's was what just I'm at Drake. But because I'm just I saying, I like a cold diss in there. But in general, like he, they've been shooting at this is this has been pretty direct from mm-hmm. the jump. We just ignored some of the things that we wanted to clearly ignore yeah. for whatever reason. But I feel like this verse, I think, is good for hip hop. I think it's good for the it sport. I think it's good for mm-hmm. fans. I think it's good for them. I think it keeps everybody honest. I think it keeps Drake honest. Mm. I think. A lot of like shout out to academics. I think one of the things he said was like, "Yo, a lot of people are coming at Drake now because they feel like Drake feels like he's better than everybody." Oh, for sure. And, and you, you can can't it. say you're better than everybody when you're Kendrick Lamar. No, you cannot. So when Kendrick Lamar is direct, it forces you. Like so, when when you say Eden, I don't think he's gonna respond. He has to respond. I don't think he's gonna respond. He literally he Who has Drake? no Either choice. Of them. I, they, neither Cole or Drake. No, they ha- you, you realize they have zero choice but to respond. They should. I would love that. But then, you, but then, why do they start with first person shooter? Then it's not they're not going to respond. And that's the problem with that's throwing crazy. rocks and hiding your hand. But they're not hiding their hands yet. We don't know if they're not going to respond. No, we yet. saw. Dr- I, well, well, um, there's a post going around. Shout out to Elliot Wilson, say, right? Elliot Wilson oh. posted something. Mm-hmm. And um, I want to find the comment. Where Drake like had that speech in his Florida concert, being like, "No one can fuck with me." Yeah, no, yeah. So okay, that's what I was that, gonna say. Okay, but that's but, not him no, 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 not responding. No, no, no. Though. Even before that, even before that's that, still, oh, okay, that's okay. still yeah. weak to me. And I'm a Drake yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's weak. Like, why, why do that? Why do yeah. all that? We talking about this one, this clip. A lot of people ask me yep. How I'm feeling. I'm gonna let you know how I'm feeling. But listen, the way I'm feeling is the same way I want you to walk out of here feeling about your fucking self. Boom. But you know what I'm feeling? I got my fucking head up high, my back straight, I'm ten fucking toes down in Florida, anywhere else I go, and I know that no matter what, it's not a nigga on this earth that can ever fuck with me in my life. And that's how I want you to walk out of here tonight. You got to do better than that, Drake. Okay, positive affirmations. You got to do better than that, Drake. <laughs> you got to hop in the booth, bro. You got to do better than that. Exactly. Drake, do you, boo. Let's yeah, he over here doing affirmations and shit. Okay, like. but nothing wrong with him having a little motivational speech at his concert. Well, wait. He might have. He might still have an actual response. Nah, I, I saw... Elliot Wilson had posted some on his Instagram page. Oh, you're talking about something different. Shout out to Elliot. There was yeah. an interview, and in I know exactly what you're referring to. Yeah. But based on that clip right there, you got to do something better than that. 100%. You can't he come will, out looking he will, like... He will. like I'm Willie? Sorry. I'm Actually, I don't know. I didn't violent. know people thought that... I thought it was just going to be automatic, like, that it was worn out. We're going to see it back and forth. But no. I didn't know a lot of people thought that this is where it ends. I that's feel crazy. like that. This is where it ends, and this really? is why Th- I crazy. think this is a boring you're ass crazy. beef. That's crazy. No, that's you're crazy. crazy. That's crazy. I think it's too early to say that though. How yeah, long? Right? How long do you give him to respond? And it's I think, and I expect days. it from Drake, not from Cole. I don't think Cole is Cole responds. Found it. I feel like it's a little weird. You I know? want Cole to respond because he did like fire a shot. Like, why wouldn't he respond? 
Even though he's a peaceful king. You know why I feel like peaceful king. He has the luxury of time is because Kendrick is the type of artist who takes a lot of time. So right? you think, oh okay. So I feel like people are going to give Drake the opportunity to respond on his own pace because Kendrick isn't the guy who runs straight to the booth. In my opinion, right? Like he's I feel meticulous. like it was somebody a little bit more active, like a Meek Mill. Who we see like every other day. Like, oh shit, it's me, man. What the fuck? <laughs> On our timeline. <laughs> <laughs> that's straight. Damn, that's what crazy. the fuck? Yeah, that's man. crazy. I just expect to see that nigga Get respond. Here, like, if you say my name, I expect to hear Meek Mill come right back. Uh -huh. But somebody like a Kendrick, yeah, I see your point. he's a lot more strategic. So I feel like us being hip hop fans and people like fan of the sport, yeah. we can be like, all right, you know what? Take your time because he's not the type of nigga where you want to rush some shit. He's not the type of person where you want to show your hand and and be called like Kendrick. Hmm. See, yeah. I will I will say this, Eden, and you're kind of right with that. It's gonna take some time because it has to. See, with Drake, right? Pusha T already revealed to us that he was hiding the kid, quote unquote. That was crazy. He already, not quote unquote. He, already, he, he hid that kid. No, he hid no, that you kid. He wasn't hiding it. He wasn't hiding it. He wasn't hiding it. He wasn't hiding it. He said he was he, he wasn't hiding his <laughs> Let kid. Let that boy come he was home. He was out in the world from his kid. From his kid. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know what he would a nigga good was playing water control. That's a good dad. <laughs> it's also Pusha T also exposed the black face he was in, right? Mm -hmm. What are you gonna say about Kendrick Lamar, who is brilliant? What are you gonna say about Kendrick Lamar, who is a Bompton? <laughs> Who's from who is from Bompton? Okay, that's true. What are you gonna say to a dude who publicly who publicly it's kinda hard to make the nigga look uncool? That's gonna take a while. <laughs> See, but for Drake, figure out a way. For Drake, they could make fun of him painting his nails. They could make fun of him uh uh, uh running around with Lil Yachty. Again, I'm not saying they could. Would it be low hanging fruit for a lyricist? I don't know, but they could use it. With Kendrick, it's like, damn, what do I he, he don't put out music? Is that the slight? Hmm. <laughs> and if that's the slight, you better go do some more digging. Hmm. You've had this beef going on for over 10 years. Mm -hmm. How can you have not accumulated That's mistakes? what I, I mean, I feel like Drake is so petty and, and just you're not writing so your shit. vengeful that he is going, like, how could he not, like, and you see with that speech, you see how he's tight, like, he's mad, like, so I feel like, how is there any world where, like, he doesn't respond, though? <laughs> I, he has to, he's petty, I, like. I, I found the clip, Reggie. Of, and other people write your shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, see, that's another thing, too. Uh, he has ghost writing allegations. You nah, can't okay. put no, that's not, it's what true. Is the I don't it's confirmed. I suck with Mills myself. I was like, yo, you I, thank you. I, yo, salute. thank you, Eddie. Salute. Salute. Thank you, Eddie. Salute. I love the yeah. album, man. Yes. Nah, salute. You not me? allegations, nigga. What I he did. Nigga, what he did. You heard it. Whatever he did you want to call it. You didn't hear it? I don't know. Maybe I did. Nah, I probably yo, did. Oh, you see the cape? What cape? I don't have a cape. I'm with Kendrick, nigga. I don't give a fuck about Drake. <laughs> so but he, that's my point. Anyway. You have 10 years worth of material. Yeah, yeah. On either side. Reggie, to answer your question why I think he doesn't, why Drake is not responding, he posted up a picture. Elliot Wilson reposted it. It's a picture of Drake wearing a jersey that says, uh, Peso de Murda. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry for looking at you for explanation. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That was, that was crazy. That's crazy. Why? Because he's Latino? Yeah, yeah, honestly. I thought he was going to say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you mean. <laughs> yeah, I, thought you were, I thought you were about to break down the whole, you were about to break down the whole thing for me. That's why we laughed. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, I'll be a Wilson repost this picture. Uh-huh. Yeah, I've seen it. There's a fan that reposted it. I think his name is Mr. I want to give him credit. Mr. Busby408. Crazy name. Yeah, and he <laughs> says this man isn't taking it seriously. Drake liked that comment. Drake liked well, that comment. Sometimes you, you, sometimes you <laughs> deflect. Yeah, when you know yeah. you down bad, sometimes like you gotta act that. He's way. acting like he doesn't care. You have to act that, way. but it's gnawing at but him. But you, this is one of those things where it's undeniable, and it's gonna be a chink in your armor if you don't acknowledge it, because this is. There's nobody more that you can view as a peer other than Kendrick Lamar to Drake mm -hmm. because of the timeline, because of the catalog, because of the accomplishments, because of the skill, uh, because of the respect. The respect in the industry says we are a fair matchup, right? So I'm a Pusha T fan, but I understand how society looks at Pusha T. Nobody's <laughs> going to look at Pusha T and say... I'm sorry, I just like, because when this this yeah, dropped live... I don't ever live, laugh after I say I'm a Pusha T fan. <laughs> no, 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 because... You don't ever do no, that. No, when this was dropping live, the, like, the Kendrick diss, Alex and Savon were blowing up the group chat, like, yo, fuck yeah! And like, like when the, when we were hearing like Future's new album, and then out of nowhere, Savon just drops a freaking picture of Pusha T. I said Savon, not right now. 
I said it's not the time. Okay, sorry, but continue. Move. It's generational, though. It is generational. It's generational. But I think even like different society, opponent, though. Yeah. You know, people don't view Pusha T on the same caliber as mm-hmm. a Drake or Kendrick Lamar, which I understand. As a fan, I get it. No, you get why. Like, so, but it's like fun. The Kendrick Lamar thing is undeniable. And so if somebody of that magnitude addresses you so direct. Mm-hmm. And everyone's talking about so it. So blunt. So viciously, right? Like he was sending triple entendres at you, nigga. <laughs> like he put an effort. <laughs> he called this nigga goofy with a check, and it meant four different things. <laughs> nigga bomb. <laughs> nigga, I was driving a car when he said that shit. And I had to stop. I said, "Did he just call him a nigga bomb?" He said, <laughs> <laughs> "I damn near crashed the beam. I couldn't believe it." The middle like, highway. The beamer. The, the beamer. The, 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 the K with all these nines. Mm-hmm. Another triple on He Pet literally Cemetery, yeah. said his album for all the dogs. And like, this is so direct to the point where if you are Drake or yeah. if you are somebody like a J. Cole, well, and all of them say they're number one, yeah. you can't just let somebody and get away with this. And, and also, you can't get away with that, Drake, because your performance on First Person Shooter, I, I've said this on record, I hate it. Oh, really? I freaking hate it, bro. When when Drake started going, Nadine, Claudine, Justine, I said, I, I wish somebody would have tapped him in the shoulder like, and went, hey, yo, dog, you know, this cold in the, in the stool right now, bro. Uh, 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 like, like, don't do that shit. But I think it goes back the, to what we were saying right about right now, J. Cole and, and, and Drake, right? They have this dynamic to where neither one of them want to step on each other's toes. But y'all have to. Is there, that, that has, right? They that, have this dynamic where... Yeah. Oh, you're great, yeah. and I'm great, but and we're great. Is there? A, is, that's not hip hop. I've never not. heard niggas yeah. hip hop say we're great. Yeah. That's, like, how, that's how I'll be if I was a fucking rapper. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I hate competition. When I see Drake take a back seat to J Cole yeah. on a song, and it's on his album, which mm-hmm. means he has the final but, approval. Yeah, yeah. Like he he okayed that whole but, song. But rappers can't be competitive and cool. If I was a rapper, right, and this makes me think about in the currents, like, mm-hmm. it's way longer. I won't go that deep. But as a rapper, say it. Wouldn't go I, for it. <laughs> go, no, go for the. Oh, LL Cool J and, yeah, ca- and Cannabis. Okay. Right? Like, LL told Cannabis, Cannabis at the time, he's a younger rapper. He's getting his shit up. He's, he's pretty known, pretty mm-hmm. famous. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, he starts t- talking to LL about, yo, 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 that tattoo you got around your, your hand, like, like, I could get that shit. <laughs> And then L was like, yo, get out of here, man. <laughs> Cause you know, LL Cool J is who LL Cool J is at the time. Capricorn shit. Oh, and he's a Capricorn. Oh my so, God. Like, and Savon is like that too, yo. Get I'm your here. own shit. <laughs> right? So what what does cannabis do? Cannabis gets on uh uh 4321 and talks about wanting to get the same tat as LL. Mm-hmm. LL copped in his competitive bag and hopped on the same song and started getting that cannabis. Yeah. Like, nigga. Fuck, I just told you about that shit. So my my question to y'all is, is there a way to be competitive but still be cool? I, I think when you guys are only, like you said, it's only a handful of y'all, right? It's only a fan, handful of these lyricists, these legends, these big threes, et cetera. We can't just come to a pact to rap really well against each other and still be cool? Fuck no. Nah, you can't Why not? Isn't that, isn't that what's happening that. now? No? Uh, nah, this end game, Reggie. I don't no, think this is end game. are just going at each other like in hip hop right now? Or what? Like, what's the difference? Uh, Ah. Do you know why it's in game? Why? Because there's so many different players yes. involved. Yes. yes. That's why, That's why it's in game. Like, I hear your argument if it was a focus group of just Kendrick, J. Cole, and mm-hmm. Drake. Mm-hmm. But because this bleeds into mm-hmm. Future, Metro. The weekend, mm-hmm. Future. Metro. Mm-hmm. 21 Savage is going to be forced to pick a side. Yep. Dirk. Lil Durk is going to be yeah. forced but, to pick but, a side. But what about, but what about you're right, because I want to go down that list, mm-hmm. right? I'm talking about Drake and Cole being competitive. Travis Hit Scott picked a side. I feel like if Drake and Cole... Oh, I, feel like, I see what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like if Drake and Cole were more competitive when they put out First Person mm-hmm. Shooter, I don't see Kendrick Lamar being as tight. Oh, because on, on First Person sh- Shooter, like them competing, it was too nice. Yeah, like, yes. it was too nice. There you go. And I was That's like, what, no, you really got to like come yeah. with it. Like, why why really can't y'all both say, okay, yo, we, okay. both, we both got a pen. But Let's again, show up on this song when, and then we cool. We it, was still going it was too when friendly. It was too friendly. When you're at yeah. that level though, you are privy to information that others aren't. So there's no way that Kendrick is looking at J. Cole like, nigga, you know I don't fuck with this nigga. But you're parading around with him. 
on the tour. Their you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that's on, tour. What, on tour songs, bro. They was in a Rolls Royce together. together. <laughs> like you know how much you really gotta fuck with a nigga to be in a Rolls Royce with him and take a picture. <laughs> I've only done that with my dad. Like, <laughs> I don't think I've that's ever weird. done that with another nigga in my life. That's so weird. for Kendrick sitting back, like, wait, hold up. Okay, I get it. Maybe I'm not the friendliest with you, yeah. but if I see you with him and you know how I feel about him, mm -hmm. it's fuck both of y'all. And the flowers. I'm so tired of him giving J. Cole flowers. My head... My head is gonna, but that, what? but that he didn't really get flowers. Though. I'm he gonna said, get a headache, Reggie. He basically said, I, "I'm I couldn't be you without me. I couldn't be myself without you." That's not flowers. That's more like, "Yo, thank but you." But it's for helping weird, me. and that's Yo, why I hate I looking at this from this lens. Because if I'm a competitor, if I feel like I'm Muhammad Ali and I'm J Cole, I don't accept that as a gimmick. Because everybody knows when you go on tour or when there's any live performances, there's a run of show. Right? Yeah. The run of show keeps you on schedule, right? Mm -hmm. The top of the show, we're gonna intro like this. Mm -hmm. Midway through, we're gonna do this. We're gonna close it at this, right? Any type of live performance, there's a run of show. Whether it be a concert, whether it be a play, every single thing on a stage has a plan to it. Nothing is by coincidence yeah. or accident unless you're Will Smith and Chris Rock. Other than that, you're good, yeah. right? Yeah. So when J. Cole gets on that stage and looks at Drake and accepts the praise from him, that is orchestrated. That is manufactured. That is not an organic moment. And you want to know? I think it is. I, I, I think it's the complete I opposite, Reggie. They I do that, they, but they do that like all the time. Though. I hate it. That's yeah, but that's, I fucking you know what's funny? hate Didn't it, we, bro. That, The last time I was I here, I think so we talked much. about that. I do think they genuinely appreciate each other. Award I really shows, do. Award like, shows, performances, things being... Do y'all remember... Um, did. This is years ago. Little Wayne versus Drake tour. Yep. Yeah. Even that concept alone is ingenious, right? And it makes me think like, what, were you comfortable, Drake, with doing that because you already looked at, you already looked at yourself as Wayne's predecessor? So it didn't feel like comp. So just throwing a verse on it was just like, if this was Drake versus J. Cole, think about how entertaining that would have been. That would have been amazing. Oh my God, I would love it. Um, imagine yeah. if the, con the concept around the concert was Drake versus Cole. And then incorporating however they could to make that show great and better. Not all these fake ass fire, oh, without you, I wouldn't be like, nigga, please. But I don't think that, okay, I get what you're saying. It's like yeah. for like the show aspect of it, like the aura of it. Yeah. That, that it, I feel like two things can be true. That, like, that is also true. Is that is also true, but they, I do think they're genuinely like, they love each other. Yeah, I, I care, I, I can see that. But I ain't going so, to. This don't nigga. let a nigga pull me Yo. on stage every day and be like, Yo, I love you, I my love nigga. You. Like, you, you the like... greatest nigga I ever wanted to. That's some, like, <laughs> like, come on, bro. I don't bro. agree with that. Nah, don't <laughs> ever do that. that, bro. Don't do that shit. <laughs> like, Yo, you because... and Alex do that on the pod every but fucking week. Yeah. Like, I don't plan it. But that's no, the thing. That's it's not planned. But it, no, but they, Reggie's it's right. It's a part of their show. But hold on, hold on. It's not planned, but Reggie's still right. We, we're competitive on here. Because we know we want to put on a good show and we do feel differently, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when we leave, it's still peace. <laughs> no, but like, we don't got no real smoke with each other. That's no. why I'm like, why can't we be competitive and still be but cool? No, but no. That's no? like if every single time we came into the studio in yeah. that minute 53, yeah. me and Alex look at each other and hug. Hey, man. It's time to show love. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No! Wait, do nah, they, hell no, you can't do that. They do that like every single show? Yeah. Every show. Yes, for sure. yes he yeah, pulls J. Show. Cole out and says, this is my brother right here. here. And Yo, I'm going to brother. shower you with love. Yeah. Like, I, I'm it's not saying go. he shouldn't feel like that or he can't. But when it's it, orchestrated it's in that way, it's, it's disingenuous. Yeah, for sure. It's disingenuous. And, and again, as a competitor, for Cole to sit there and accept that, like going back That's to the, aside. going back to the Lil Wayne and Drake <laughs> shit, right? Yeah. I don't know if y'all know, but like that caused a, a, a moment of contingency between Lil Wayne and Drake. You talking that, about the tour? That yeah. tour, yeah. like, put a wedge between them where they kind of went their separate ways for a little bit yeah. because of that specific tour. Mm. Because Drake was ascending to a level where Lil Wayne was like, wait, what the oh, fuck shit. is going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they kind of started to clash behind the scenes. It wasn't like a beef. You know about that, right? Yeah, yeah. But Drake like, was becoming too powerful. He was becoming... And also, and again, this is what we got to... Drake be fucking niggas bitches. Oh, we're going to get to that. That's where, that's where the future allegedly We can start there. Is we can start there. We can start there. We can go right bro. to it. And that's why, like, you got to look at... And I'm, I'm so mad that it's taking this for us to really look at people the way that we have to look at them. Because it he, Drake has been said, when Lil Wayne was locked up, I fucked his girl. Yeah. No, that's Drake a fact. is such a fucking menace. That's a like, fact. He fuck niggas. But girl. why do we just let people say hey, this? Hey, 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 Pete, 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 Pete. We're we gonna get into wait, time out real uh -huh. quick. Yeah. 
if you fuck my girl, this pod is over. <laughs> no, it's done. <laughs> Vice versa. I, I is it you. over? Guys, no, don't no, do no, that. He said it's, he said no, it's, it's no, the vice versa. Please no, don't fuck each other. I'm going to tell him on air. <laughs> bro, if, I, you, if you fuck my girl, I, hate men. I am going to drain our business account. <laughs> we are going to go to court. <laughs> don't fuck my girl, bro. Like your girlfriend. Yes. God, it was nah. his girlfriend. Like it doesn't matter if it's a side piece. That's where it gets tricky because I'm sure this is where it's going. That's what I thought, bro. It's a little gray area, you know? That's a gray area. Do she say she loves me when I'm hitting it? Yeah. Oh, God. Don't look at me when you say that. Hey. 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 Savon, please, guys, please do not fuck those women. Please do not make me a child of boys. I stay out of Savon's way. There you go, see? I ain't gonna lie, that's what we. He stay out of mine. The fuck? Yes, we do. Yeah, men doing that to each other and then ruining something great, I. It happens a lot more. But that's the thing, bro. Yeah. When I heard on the uh, on the first song on the Future album, "We Don't Trust You," right? <laughs> Future goes, and this is on verse two. You a nigga number one fan, dog. Sneak dissing, I don't understand, dog. Pillow talking, acting like a fed dog. I don't need another fake friend, dog. Hmm, for all the dogs, right? Yeah. <gasps> uh... <laughs> can't can't be by the hoe because we sharing, dog. In your feelings, nigga, why you playing, dog? Mm. Give a back shots while she laying down. Keep the Glock cock. I don't trust her. Damn. I'm listening to it differently now. And Future doesn't even say dog like that. Like, he doesn't yeah. like when he raps, so. And, and let's kind of go it back. It was deliberate. It was deliberate, right? You could kind of tell. Let's go back a little bit, right? Yo, don't fuck my girl. <laughs> Is Savon still? This nigga still on that shit. Nah, Yo, no, no wait. I, okay, I just have to tell you. Savon does it sometimes where, like, he just, like, says things that makes himself mad. And then in the pod, like... he was like, about it. No, and the pod, like, 30 minutes later, he, like, says it again. He's like, fuck. Like, Bro, you, you, you missed... You miss what Alex said. Alex said, Savon said, it, the pod is over. Alex was like, no, it's not. <laughs> so that's really Alex saying, nah, the pod just started. It just gets started. Yeah, no. But nah, that. let's go back to the beginning of the future. It's a mm. future Drake relationship a little bit, right? When Life is Good came out, Life is Good was... <laughs> that shit was everywhere. Mm -hmm. Future Drake song. Amazing moment. Right? And they kind of were hinting at teasing out of what a time to be alive, too. This is around 2019, 2020. Damn, time. that was 2019? That was 2019. What? Fuck. Yeah, no I thought fuck. that was like 2022. Type yeah, yeah, 2019, 2020. What song? What a time? To... Uh, no, life no. is Good. Oh, I was about to say. Remember okay. Life is Good? Yeah, what a time yeah, to be alive. Yeah, yeah. They were, they were kind of hinting mm -hmm. that they were going to do another collab out there, yeah. right? Uh, in October, when we first spoke about Drake uh, and Future potentially beefing, I just was of the belief of, yo, dog, it got to be because of 21 Savage. It got to be because he linked up with another Atlanta artist. He probably didn't like that. Mm -hmm. This seems to kind of be debunked now. You talked about Drake fucking Lil Wayne's girl. We've also heard about him coming after the weekend with Bella Hadid. Right? So it kind of seems like there is a trend here, right? And if anybody is out there confused as to why is my fave being shot at, Savon said it right, bro. When you fuck everybody, girl, yeah. after a while, people going to start coming to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? But I think it's even deeper than that. I'm listening. Yeah, for sure. And I don't I like I'm not speaking with anything when it comes to facts when I say this. Yeah. But I think we all like it's known that we almost prominent years of like our childhood, teenage, preteen, like our upbringing is really shape us to be the people that we are today. Mm -hmm. So who you were from age 0 to about 21 Unless you really do the work to counteract some of that shit, that trauma, your experiences, whatever, yeah. like that is who you are, right? Mm -hmm. And so when I look at somebody like a Drake, and from what I know about his background and his upbringing, like as street as he likes to be, like, and I think when he st stands next to like a future or a Rick Ross or a 21, that gives him his street credibility because he's not street. Yeah, and he, he said, said that, yeah, right? He like said. he's not a street guy. And when we see, like, we were introduced to him, and I think a lot of us forget, like, Degrassi. Degrassi was like a Jimmy. teen fucking CW Disney, yeah. like, that could have been on Disney low key type of show. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know about yeah. that. No, nah, I don't know if it could have been on Disney. <laughs> Disney CW, after dark. Yes, CW, CW, not CW. CW, let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> but what, what, the point that I'm trying to make is, like, Drake has been prepared and uh, dare I say even groomed for entertainment and for this space, which means there's a lot of experiences that his counterparts like a uh, future, like a 21 Savage, like a Lil Baby, um, like a Kendrick, like a J. Cole, like these people come from where it's like, yo, we had to come from struggle a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying Drake didn't struggle. I think he did struggle, mm -hmm. but I think it also comes from, it's, it's like the fat kid in high school who gets skinny, rich, 
and and beautiful all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. And now he got everything at his disposal and he becomes the villain. I feel like Drake has had a little bit of that where l- niggas looked at him, didn't bro, it took Little Wayne to co-sign him to be who he is today. And I know a lot of people may not think about that. Little Wayne was the hottest person on earth. Word. It's almost like a little bit of the 50 Cent and Eminem, right? When you hear 50 Cent talk about Eminem, he talks about him with the most reverence because yeah. nobody fucked with 50 Cent. Everybody actually turned their back on him and, sure. and literally tried to blackball him. He was competition like, to them. 50 Cent is not supposed to be here, which is why he moves how he moves. And we'll get into 50 because who else is talking about Hove and Diddy like that, right? <laughs> Literally, 50 doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. 50 like, zero is cares. the only guy yeah, yeah, who says, yo, you gotta salute the that. freak off, no Diddy, Diddy you do it, Diddy. Like, you got to salute a person that calls it across the board. The right? reason he's able to move man. like that, that is crazy. because everybody said, yo, fuck you. Except for Envy. He, he, he protected Envy. Not, not, not even just Envy. <laughs> he did. Yeah, he ain't post no Envy. <laughs> but it took Eminem and yeah. it took Dr. Dre and it took Jimmy Iovine yeah. to bring on a 50 Cent to be embraced. Right. And the same thing for Drake. When Drake came out and he was singing and rapping, everybody was looking at this shit like, yo, this nigga's weirdo. He's from Toronto. Who is he? He's all, he's an actor. You don't think he's the- white. He's black. Nobody really embraced Drake. It took Lil Wayne, who yeah. was literally, again, I know a lot of our listeners are our age. We all remember how hot Lil Wayne was, bro. Yeah. Like, this he, everywhere he it was bro no lie in my opinion the first real rap superstars that i can remember 50 cent and little wayne mm-hmm. it's like universal and superstars mm-hmm. like yeah, universal sure. and, and and again and maybe that was a little bit before like yeah. i could consciously say he's a superstar was... but no he was he was i'm not i'm not discrediting no, not you. i'm, I'm not just saying in general he was massive those two guys right there, bro, yeah. when they touch something, it turned into gold. And when when Eminem touched 50 Cent, pause, no Diddy. <laughs> and when Lil Wayne no touched Diddy. Drake, Shot the quilly, no yeah. Diddy for real, no Sean, no Puffy, whatever. Like, it, it was a thing. And I think a lot of us forget that shit. Like, yeah. Drake is getting but, a lot of, this is like reparations for him fucking everybody's bitch, bro. For sure. Because he wasn't out here, probably, I'm going to assume, mm. he wasn't him. I think. Me personally, I think mm-hmm. he was always gonna be him because his cheat code was women. It wasn't though. Bro, he always made music all his for women. early work is is centered it around. It wasn't embraced women, until bro. the hottest nigga on the planet said, "We like him." No, I know, but what Alex is saying, but like, yeah. eventually, I feel like he would have yeah. cut through eventually because of his style of. You think it without the cosign? You think he would have cut yeah. through without Lil Wayne? Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't nah, think. Nah, nah, I don't think. Not. I don't I'm think sorry. it would have been mm-hmm. as immersive as we see Drake now. But I definitely think a rapping and singing nigga that was talking about women <sighs> would have would have been just successful. Absolutely absolutely not, like bro. I don't think absolutely that would have happened when he was coming up. His competition was like a Trey songs and shit, like replacement girl, all that shit. Like I just want us to remember how it, he how he came in. Yeah, he did he did do a lot of the the beat, the boom bat raps too and shit like that. Heavily influenced from a Joe Budden, etc. I do personally think because his cheat code has always been women, he would have found a way to translate again. I don't know if it's as immersive as we know him is to be today. But he definitely cuts through, for sure. For sure. Even if it's just, oh yeah, we look at that nigga like Trey Songs. Uh, bro, I don't think so. But it matters. Nobody looked at him like Trey Songs. Well, they did. Tell you, at bro. one point. They did, bro. That, they were but yeah. it's still a whole different stature. I, feel it t- I, mm-hmm. I think Lil Wayne. Wayne, Wayne was, was really- You think Drake would have been happy to be tra- no offense to Trey Songs? Not at all. But That's, Trey Songs now? Uh... Not at all. That's why Wayne was needed. I want to be clear on what I'm saying. Oh, Wayne okay, was well, yeah. needed. Yeah, but I just personally think he would have cut like, through. Like he would have cut through yeah. anyway. But now that Wayne was added into the equation, sure. that makes him the superstar. Yeah, yeah, yeah superstardom yeah. for <gasps> sure. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yo. And you, you got to think about you know a person like Future now because yo dog for you to really just click up with all of his ops when you've been so successful, when you've been so lucrative with Drake, when y'all put out music, when y'all collab, when y'all do things consistently, it's very telling. <laughs> It's very telling. It makes you think like, yo, dog, if this dude is willing to sacrifice. Future got his first number ones through Drake. Way Too Sexy, mm-hmm. uh, The Wait For You's, etc. That you know, was a Grammy, was it? Yeah. Or Damn. at least a nom if I can't remember right now. With Thames. Yeah, yeah with Thames. So, yeah. so what would make you want to risk all of that shit? Why do you think Savon just paused like three times and was like, don't fuck my girl? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's yeah. kind of enough. Trying to tell you. 
<laughs> why are you looking at me like that? Usually, I wouldn't want to assume like why people are fighting, but I feel like yeah. I, I, I would literally be like, oh my god, like why would we even think this? Like, are we just assuming? But yeah. because of futures bars, I feel like it's safe to assume it's over a girl. Are y'all cool with anybody that's fucked y'all girls? Yes. Well, what? What do you mean? <laughs> you answer what? that, man. Yeah, I know, right? I have, I have a, I have a <coughs> friend of mine who we were like, Eskimo like you could be no oh. Eskimo bros that happens, but like. If you but like that was were, my girl. Oh, like they fucked my girl while if, I was with them. Like oh, that you I love. Fuck no. <laughs> fuck that. I don't know nobody nah. that hit my my girl. It's never happened to me. <laughs> it never happened. It's like that. You don't know. <laughs> I don't know anybody that hit my girl. No. I don't even have a girl right now. No, my ex in general friends and shit. Like back nah. in the day. Back in the day, let me think. Nah, oh. bro. Everybody really didn't step on toes for the most part. Alex was the one doing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. That's what it was. I'm Drake. Yeah. I'm yeah, the, you I'm the nasty. problem. Yeah. That's yeah. why he don't like him. Doing it. It's me. <laughs> Could be. He's He's the the problem. Problem. Am, I, am I the problem? Am I the, yeah. I'm the fucker. <laughs> I'm the fucker. I'm the fucker. <laughs> but I, I, I can see why, oh, like, that, that can end some shit. That can end yeah. some no, shit. No, absolutely. Can, all right. So before we kind of move on to Diddy, whose side are y'all taking Ooh, as of dude. today? Still? Yeah, right now. Kendrick. You on Kendrick's side, Kendrick. Mm -hmm. So Kendrick is on the side of future. Kendrick's gonna Metro. win one, one O and O. Like that's it. There's you not, really think this is gonna, not gonna end be here? a response? I feel like there's so much on the J. Cole line. Jay gonna respond for what? He what has do you to. mean? For he's, what? Not, he's an album. Are you not? He's an album. He's an album mode. mode yeah. Are you not a competitive person? I am. I know you are. I know he's not gonna respond. <gasps> that's so funny because I'm not a competitive person. Like I literally, I just. But you're a Cole fan. But, yeah, no, but like, so I get that. I, yeah. I, I like I that. Wanna, I would want to hear it. I like that it's over like hip hop. Like it's not like some messy, stupid shit. Like it's literally like, okay, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna drop a song. I'm gonna drop a song. Like I like that. It's that like clean hip hop competition. So yeah, I'm I'm with it. Like I'm you for think it. Cole drops a whole track, or he puts a verse in a in a song? I think it's at least a verse. Because that's you know what, what I thought was interesting too. By the way, mm -hmm. yeah. Because I was, I was comparing this with other rap with friends of mine. I was like, this isn't even a whole song. This is just a verse. <gasps> you yeah. talked about this with other people besides us? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. Like, <hello>. Fine. <laughs> no, but. Anyway. But yeah. yeah, but this was just a verse mm -hmm. instead of a whole track. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll see. A lot of people accuse Kendrick of just making moments. Oh, yeah. And That's cool. not somebody really has following to do it. up. Like, somebody has to do I it. I love it. Yeah, but when they, they, they <laughs> say that. Like, there's vanity in the moments because it doesn't lead to anything. Like he it's wants just to make like, a spectacle. Yeah, I'm just, hey, and then he like goes away. And then he goes away. So I, 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 I would hope that but Kendrick, think this go back and forth. right? Like, yeah. I would hope because I do believe as active as J. Cole is, as active as Drake is, they're going to come back. And then once they do come back, I feel like Kendrick has to, like, Kendrick can't just, he's the one who throws stones and kind of hides his hands. No way. In my oh. opinion. No way. He's not battle tested. You don't believe that. And I'm not even Neither like. Neither is Cole. No, neither one of them are. We, yeah, we're not. And, that, and that's why I respect Drake out of the big like three, the, yeah, the Holy like, Grail, the Trinity. Like <laughs> Drake showed you, like I'm, I'm here. When lose a draw, this is, I will acknowledge it. Drake has, I mean, J Cole has never. Like who's J Cole beef with? Diggy Simmons. Nas. He let Nas down. <laughs> that wasn't a beef. That was like I let my mentor down. Uh oh, Lil Pump. Oh my god! No, and then they punk. had a sit down interview, like yeah. freaking NPR. <laughs> and neither is Kendrick Lamar. Like I know they say Kendrick and, and Big Sean have. You want to know thing. why I don't believe the battle tested thing? You just told me how we know Drake is not gangster. We know Drake don't come yeah. from anything. But he's hip hop. Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar is, is really from Bompton. <laughs> Like we talking about somebody who's when you say battle tested, like I know we using it just a wordplay type. But he's of thing. battle tested in real life, in, in, like in, in, in life type shit. So, Grant, let's look at the opponents Drake has had: Meek Mill, Pusha T. Respectfully, Common. this ain't this future. Common. Hmm? Common. Common. That was an interesting Canada Drive. It bothers me when the bras get to acting like uh, when the gods get. Yeah, I know, I know. Kanye. Yeah, but like we haven't seen a spar for real back and forth, right? Why are all of those different? Future and Kendrick Lamar are two people you really can't question. Meek Mill, he thought he had the streets. He had no idea. When we say Future got the streets, no, he really got the streets. Future's one of the only ones still dropping 200 plus when he dropped the album. This new album is it's projected to do 220 right now. There's a whole nother ball game right here. You feel what I'm saying? And, and, and also, like, I just feel like... <sighs> Oh my god, there's just so much to talk about. <laughs> Wait, are you saying like <sighs> Yeah So is this an argument of like why you do think that Drake is gonna spawn or that he 
might not. I want to add to him, add to why he should respond because I see a lot of confusion. Oh, he doesn't need to. He should, he should sit this one out. You can't keep calling yourself MJ. See, a lot of people are confused like, that was a fire bar too, by the way. The M- we didn't talk about, right? The MJ yeah, and Prince, Prince line. line yeah. So many people were confused, like, so is he saying that MJ is whack? No, bro. He's saying silly. Drake has been calling himself Michael Jackson. And Kendrick Lamar is the more artsy one of the two, right? One of the one who really puts his all into his, into his, his projects, art, yeah. right? MJ was the commercial act for, for the most part. And there's no problem with that. We love Michael Jackson. Shut the fuck up, Pierre. We love Michael Jackson. I, listen, we do you not him. like Michael Jackson? Is this a thing? That is, that's oh, just like not, not my cup of tea. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We don't know what his is in cup of, what is in his cup of joe. All right, but <laughs> it's <so laughs> like embarrassing. it's very it's yeah. I can't. I'm even. so mad. I know. I, 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 I can, I can say that. that. What's wrong with saying that? I stand like ten like toes on there. You just that. don't subscribe. Stop saying nah, that. I, I could appreciate. I don't want this conversation to go in a different direction. But I could appreciate yeah. and call and say, all right, everyone thinks he's a great artist and he put he has stuff out there. But personally, me. I don't fuck with his shit. <laughs> Damn. Don't and, and, never, and that's like that. and that's never, okay. I respect the fact I've never. And that's okay. I, it wasn't. It wasn't my thing. <laughs> no, I respect it. You can't respect that. It is. People oh. that feel that way about Kendrick. <laughs> Kendrick is not Michael Jackson. <laughs> he's Prince. No, in, in this context, he's apparently Prince. I'm sorry yeah. to break it to you. Okay. <laughs> you think Drake is MJ? No, I don't. But I think to this generation of kids, I could see that being an I can because Michael Jackson is a lot more. You can digest his music a lot easier than Prince. I think to appreciate yeah. Prince, you have to appreciate the art. True. And to appreciate Kendrick, you have to appreciate the art, yeah. right? Yeah. Michael Jackson and Drake, I think, is a lot more mainstream, a little bit more surface, a little bit more uh, manufactured, right? Like, there's a million people in the studio saying, how do we make this a hit? Yeah. Right? And then we put out the hit. Mm-hmm. Whereas Prince and, and, and Kendrick is like... I'm going to do what feels good to me, and and then I'm going to make this shit a hit. If y'all fuck with it, y'all fuck with it. If you don't, you don't, but that's on you because this is the real, you know? So I think there is parallels there, but I don't think it's a slight to call another nigga Michael Jackson. Yeah. Is it weird weird to think that there's a possibility Mm -hmm. that they both might respond in one track? That would be worst case- That would be worst case scenario. That would be worst case scenario for them. Yeah, that looks like they need each other. Like they're really like besties. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's gonna be one or the other. It's not gonna be both. It looks codependent. I I see Cole doing it more than Drake. I see Gig. I can see Cole getting to it. You know what I can see? I can see J. Cole doing it on somebody else's feature the same way that Kendrick did it on someone else's song, right? We've seen this run of J. Cole just going crazy on everybody else's song. And I'm sure there's gonna be an artist who needs that look. Who's like, fuck it, nigga, go crazy. Like, why not this Kendrick Lamar on my song? Right? Come on, like, J.I.D., it's your time yeah, to shine. It's your time to shine. <laughs> I mean, like, let me give you yeah. this look. So I can definitely see J. Cole going at going back at Kendrick on right. somebody else's song, maybe, or even on the the fall off, right? Like mm-hmm. he yeah. got an album coming. And True. They yeah. did a sneak peek of um he was on Dipset, I'm ready. Again, shout out to Ice for bringing that to the forefront. Like that song, that sample, it says, I'm I'm re-. the song is literally, I'm ready. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. if you're in that mode as a rapper, right. as somebody who has a pen, then yeah, I, I can see that happening. But I think, you know, again, to be seen, to be continued. Yeah. Um, can no we, freaky, what up? Can we pick up? Yeah, you want, yeah, you want to get freaky? Nah, before we do that, I just want us to, I want to <laughs> list. Why you didn't want to get freaky? Nah, nah, come on, bro. Nigga, I thought you Anybody was getting exposed and for being freaky. I ain't freaky no more. You said you was freaky last week. Nah, nah, nah no more. I Did told he? you. No, I didn't. I nah, told you, I man. remember that. When we yeah. first spoke about... You didn't remember shit. When nah, first it was spoke after about we cut Diddy, the cameras. Nah, that wasn't me. You got the wrong Alex. All right? When, I, when we first talked about Diddy, I said... I'm not a freak no more. I've denounced me. She don't want to be a freak no I'm more. I'm not a freak no more. more. Hey, sweetie, if you're coming to me thinking you're getting a freak, baby, you're not. I'm playing Jane. I'm missionary. All right. Anyway, so now that we got that out of the way, I'm missionary, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? I want us to select the better, the uh, the better half in the uh, Civil War before mm-hmm. we get out of this topic. That's a good way to end it. Yeah, yeah, it really is because I do feel like we should stack who's on both sides oh, right. and how this shit is, you know, uh, better what divvying though, up. like, um, or or, or, or the side you, you you're like going who's your with. team? Like, yeah, who's the team you going with? Right. Um, I, let start. me name them. Let me name them. Team Future. Metro, Kendrick, Rick Ross, The Weeknd, ASAP Rocky, Playboy Cardi, Travis Scott. We will not end this topic before we finish about Travis Scott. Pusha T, uh, uh, Mike Dean, Thugger, Kanye, Drake Side, 
Cole Yachty, 21, Sexy Red. What? 40. SZA. 40. A biased person Lil made this Wayne. damn list. Yeah, this sounds like a very biased list. Name who's on Drake's side. How you put, oh, well, how you the, put oh, Sexy no, Red before Lil Wayne? All the people that you put Wayne. on Future side <laughs> are not on Future side. They're, they just hate Drake. Like That's, that's not Future's really, team. really mm-hmm. great brand. That, like, For Travis, Rick Ross... Who else does a lot of good features together? For the two of them to pick a side, Reggie, who are both, who, are, who, who make good music with Drake and are very lucrative because of it. We love Gold Roses with Rick Ross. We love Dice, Dice Pineapples. Okay, Sicko that. Mode with Travis in recent history. For them to choose up, yo, like. Wait, they chose up? I on, didn't know uh, Ross chose. I saw, chose yeah, Ross is on the album. Oh yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw a clip of Eddie Travis. Eddie unfollowed Drake too. Eddie unfollowed. You know that's the new thing now. So. I, the thing. I know. Yeah. I know. It's, it's not even a new thing. True. It's been a thing. Have you, that's true. Have you unfollowed anybody? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I love muting Continue. people. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you this. Yes. If I had to pick, if I had to pick, okay. Whatever side Playboy Cardi is on, I'm on the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Team Cole, hey. baby. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. That's crazy. I don't give a fuck with that nigga. He got to stop that shit. I don't shit. give a damn nigga. Yo, Whatever that nigga yo. was, I'm on the opposite. Cardi got to stop wearing like panties and shit. He's bugging. You saw that? I mean, he posted <laughs> it. You saw it though? Yeah, unfortunately. Damn. In 4K? How that shit I was look? mad, bro. He what did the, it look like? He had the thong joint what on. What did it too. look like? That's, that's crazy. <laughs> that nigga was looking like Cisco. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was out there looking like Cisco. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, he had a thong. Like a yeah, thong. for real, or like a leotard of the sorts. But yeah, he had to hang out of his. Leotard of the sorts. Yeah, he had to hang out his jeans. But that uh, let, me, let me straighten that out real quick. Okay, that's not why I'm not on his side. <laughs> I don't care what he wears. I'm just not a fan of him. Got you. Got I you. believe in demons. But you are so no, you much don't. more. You are so much of an anti Playboy Cardi fan that you would just go immediately on the immediately. side. Immediately, that's insane. I, I believe that there are <laughs> I'm with you, people though. that are placed in our culture and our lives that are sent to destroy. Yeah. For me, like I enjoy all music. Once you start talking about the devil and all that shit, that's when I clock out. Yeah, yeah it's gangster. Quiet. Once you start doing all the yeah. demonic symbols and all that, I clock out, it's homie. Quiet. Enjoy. <laughs> have a God ball. God bless. Yeah, God bless. What's, peace what's peace be on to you. I'm on, even Jay though they Cole. have nobody right now. Jay they're Cole. not. It's them against the world. I love a good bestie duo. Uh, I'm on Drake and Cole side because also I want to hear the diss track because Drake makes amazing diss tracks. Yeah, right. because she said bestie duo. I'm definitely. Team Future. Yeah. I don't want to hear. I think it's just me against the world. I think it's okay. I, it's okay. It's full okay. circle. It's like, I don't yeah. want to hear this best friend shit. I don't. I don't want to hear it's it. Cute. I really I don't. I think it's cool. I get I it. Don't hear it. But you have a competitor right next to you. Yeah. Every single time you're performing, no matter what. Yeah. Like, that's where my competitive side comes out. They should have never went on tour. They shouldn't. They're on a they fucking... Never they should have never been... They shouldn't. They shouldn't be friends, They're bro. They're on a joint tour. Like, why is this so bad? Because, nigga, like, I'm your op, nigga. They could have been making double I money. know what people are talking about in the barbershop. They're talking about me, <laughs> you, and Kendrick. I don't need to be associated with being no, they your don't have friend. To hate, they don't have to hate each other. But Stop. I don't need to do business with Life you. Life is too short for them to hate each other. Because I'm rich enough without you. Oh I don't God. need you, bro. But, but I, like Reggie, that, I love you, that they're friends. You can agree that you love the rap discourse. Cool, no, that's right? why I'm, I'm that all shit, for it. I cannot man. wait for this to continue. Unlike Eddin, he wants us to... Yeah. You keep no, saying it's going to stop. Not, no, I would want it to keep on going but you think as long as possible. Because mm-hmm. we've, we've been talking about how the Fuck last few that, years man. for rap have been down and mm-hmm. sales. Yeah, exactly. And I, like this, stuff, I right? like this like, because I like this back and forth because they are worthy components of each other and I cannot wait for this to continue. But like, I like that Drake and Cole are like besties. I don't. Life is short. I don't. Just I don't. Fucking, I don't. Because nah. it, it don't Fuck even... That it just, they bro, don't have to hate each other. They like, just woke up one day and said, let's get in the Maybach. That's really what happened. They just woke up one day and you just saw Drake and J. Cole like together after mad years of not doing no music, yeah. no affiliation. No, they've had a great no, any, no, they've no, always, they have always had no, a great relationship. Haven't. Yes, no, they have. Bro, yes, they no, have. they haven't, Reggie. I don't yes, believe they it. didn't hit it in the morning and then they didn't make songs for 10 years. Yes, they did. They, they have two other songs what together. Song? What song? Uh Jodeci Freestyle. Okay, that was within okay, the same year. Mm-hmm. That was within and the same year. And there's mm-hmm. one other one that I'm not thinking of. Where? Okay, but so what? Like and, they, and that was a 10-year gap before they just decided to be besties just again. Because, like, just because they didn't make songs together, that means they don't like each other. They've had an amazing relationship yeah, always. All right, like, if you always had an amazing relationship, display that through the 10 years. Why they did. They take, no, they, they didn't. Yes, Where? they did. They all, okay, I'll find you like mad pictures of them together. I, like, I see what you're saying, Reggie. I think what Savon is saying is that he didn't believe it. 
even with all of the signs it's, it's that, they, that, they, that they've shown Cat Williams years. tried to tell us yeah. this shit is smoke and mirrors bro yes. these niggas is oh, yeah. playing right into yeah. it you know what the, you know what he said about people that saw they saw mm-hmm. and I don't know who saw they saw and who didn't but I know who pe- people who like to sell an image yeah. they don't want you to believe that they're selling an the image mm-hmm. that's why they do shit like this bro these niggas don't fuck with each other have you they have some, nothing in common have you met someone who sold their soul no I'm shit I'm sure I have you're saying Drake and J. Cole have nothing in common I'm sure I have I'm sure you have Oh, I'm sure I have. Oh, for I'm, sure. Like, oh, we yeah. know what time <laughs> oh, it is, yeah, man. Yeah. Like, yeah, for of sure. course we have. So, when I see people, I like beef. this is all strategic. <laughs> <laughs> I like beef. I like, I like, beef. I like I beef. I don't know. Kenny saw, yo, Kenny saw Drake sending all those shots at Kanye and said to himself, you was worried about the wrong crazy nigga. That nigga can't rap no more. I'm the I'm the boogeyman you need to worry about. I don't. I, 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 I want to see how this shit unfold. I want to see how it unfolds. You know what it is? I just rather be surprised than disappointed. I'm not mad at that. I'd rather be like, this is not going to go anywhere effort, else. I think the effort is enough. Uh-huh. I, they, just, they, don't, they don't fuck with each other. And it's okay to say I don't fuck with niggas. Like, Who are you talking fine. about? It's fine. None of them. Nobody. Nobody in rap. Nobody in music. Talking about Big Sean? Genuinely. They, they really don't fuck with they Big really Sean. They really don't fuck with Big Sean. They hate him. I don't know what happened. There was <laughs> definitely a turn Big of Sean. course where everyone was just like, fuck Big Sean. <laughs> Big, you know what happens? 50 Cent was the last of a dying breed. <laughs> You can't be fit as a rapper no more. <laughs> like, Big Everybody Sean tried to give his life to fitness. <laughs> and these niggas said, fuck out of here. Like, nobody wants to see you with your shirt off, my nigga. Oh like, my I get it. I understand. But like, no, bro. They don't, none of them fuck with each other. They say it in their music. They diss each other on each other's songs. Like, J. Cole dissed Drake, too. Like, yeah. on his song. Okay, so yeah. last thing. Then. So what's the result? What do you think? I clearly don't think this is going to go any further. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you think... I think there's going to be a back and forth, and I between, think it's going to be entertaining. Between who? All of them. No way. What? You asked me what? No, no, yeah, I, I, know, do, I, I do know, think. I, know, I, know, I do think there's going to be some same. type of back and forth. I think, I, I think the same. Well, I, think I all want three it. Of them? I think Drake has to respond to Kendrick, and I think J. Cole has to respond to Kendrick. There's no way that That's Kendrick Lamar happening. does this, and they don't do anything about it. Like, it's too that direct. That would be crazy. It's too direct. That would be like, insanity. It's too direct. Like, I feel like we got to talk yeah. about other things, but yeah. continue, give you a, your thoughts gotcha. on this. All right, I'm going to give my thoughts, and we got to end on Big Sean, because real talk, somebody got to give him some time. I think it's going to be a melee, a melee of things, but with J. Cole leading, all right? Now- to Big Sean, for those of you that don't know, Big Sean released a single the same day. You heard Future's it? album. I think it's called Precision. I heard that. I did. I, I think the this music is, man not knowing what his name is is kind of crazy. I think it's called Precision. Yeah, I, I heard it. I heard it. And he was getting this shit off. He was talking about the big three and all of this shit, right? Um, I think they sent him back to therapy. You know what that shit like? You know what that shit is like? No, bro? he's definitely been on this healing journey for the past like five years. Imagine building up all of this clarity and confidence, right? To come back to the game, put some shots up. He's as like, a, this is my time. As a I'm super, ready. You know what that's like? That's like a superstar player tearing his ACL. He was out for a year. Mm. First game back, nigga, rip it again. Got the Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> you sitting here like, damn. Son. I, I'm never going to diss Big Sean. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not dissing Big Sean. I'm just saying like, you know. Comparing just it to the moment. Like, like the timing is crazy. Yeah, like the timing yeah, is yeah. crazy. Yeah, shit is like, funny. Like, you can't catch a break. Like, so you can't we, catch a break. Are we thinking this is on purpose or... He should have known something. I, I he should have called something. It better not have been on purpose because it's a bad play. Like, why would yeah, he do that? Yeah. Like, I think Big Sean is just so out the loop that he doesn't even know. Like, mm. you know how I, I want to <laughs> tell him to read the room, but like, just read the room, Big Sean. Yeah. But I think the room is just not reading him. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> no, I think I mean, this. I actually very much agree with that. Yeah. Like, this might have helped his numbers, though. No. Like, no. People, no. Making, people making fun of his timing. <laughs> no. no way. And now that people are paying fuck. attention. Not enough. I don't know. Kendrick I love, I love this Big Sean so much. So. Yeah, that's like... <laughs> Do you think yeah, the no. people that dropped an album the same day as Future benefited Reggie? <laughs> With um, all the discourse around the beat The only everything? person, yeah. other person that I cared about was Tyla. Tyla and yeah, I Tyla. don't think yeah. that this hurt her at all because she's all over my timeline. All the, all the baddies love it. And so. that was a gradual thing too, right? After the two, three... First two, three days of the future album, then we started to hit the discourse around Tyler's album. Yeah, but she's you. also been promoting for a while. Heavy, yeah, heavy, for sure, heavy, for sure. Yeah. Won a Grammy before she <laughs> put out an album. Period. Yeah. Oh. She got a she got a uh, a track on there called Jump. Well, two of them that I really bang with Jump and Art. Mm-hmm. And Art, yeah, yeah those are hard. Jump got skill uh skill 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 bang. Bang on it. Yeah, yeah, and Gunna bang. and Gunna. Shout out to Gunna being the go to feature for all the girlies. Yeah. yeah. It is so cute. Cause Normani has a single coming up with um him too. So But that's how I know niggas really don't fuck with each other because Gunna should not even be welcome back in the music. But because but look at him flourishing. No, but that's like, but the, again, crazy. Like, they tell us everything. On a Tyler album, no? On any fucking you music, know, but any Tyler album. from South Africa. But the, you know well, why Tyler went to Gunner? 
Yeah. You know why Tyler said, yo, Gun, I want you on my project? Yeah. It's because we welcomed him back in the hip hop. And let me not say we, because we're just fran- fans. We're consumers. You think so? I don't the, think so. The four of us? No, no, no. I'm saying I don't why. give a fuck what these niggas no, no, do no, no, in jail. No, no, no. What you said <laughs> or before? not in jail. No, I don't no. give a fuck. No, what you said before that. You said um, why uh, she reached out to him. I don't think that's the reason. Why she reached out to him yeah. is because he had a great song, right? His great song allowed the culture, like people like Offset, right? Offset is affiliated with Cardi B. Cardi B is the biggest woman in music, if not number two, one and two in music. So when you have people who are willing to embrace you in that way, yeah, you're gonna be welcome back into the space. So yeah. Gunna was welcome back into the space despite the allegations because of the music. If we really quote unquote stood on business as a culture and didn't accept certain yeah, things, been, right? then he wouldn't even be no, on Tyler's shit. He's, at all. I don't he's also had other um, Afro beats that he was on too. This year, blessings, yeah. Yeah. testimony, and then I follow, follow. Because when, when did that come out? Before like last after, last year, when when it before uh, before, before last the, year. Young, the Thugger shit. This that, no, that came out thing? after the Thugger shit. Yeah, that came out. That came out when Gunna came out. That I don't came know. After. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. What's the name of that? Fuck you mean? Fuck you mean? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying that. What that's, I'm saying is, f- fucking Tyler is not Little Dirk or some street nigga. That's what, like, that's what I'm like on a Tyler album. Bro. And, She's from and, South Africa. What does she care about? But I don't think all the, the hood politics. You but like it's that. not her. Tyler don't pick this shit. When you're she, such a, I'm new, sure she has some say, bro. When you're such a new artist, you don't got no say, bro. You literally you have no a say, say about uh, who you, you say. want. You that's no not say. true. That's you not true. Got no say, bro. That's not true. This is not you, true. You might have an opinion. Yeah. You ain't got no say. Which I don't you? think they force all these features on her album. Like, yeah, after, and you can request. Crazy. You don't think they force, you don't think they force that, They Travis? literally ask them. They request features. Like, yo. Yeah, like, water I, I remix. Bro, yeah. when you get a song like Water. Yes. You're catching up. Ow. Which means, nigga. All right. Everybody <laughs> who invested in you is now pulling the strings. You don't get no say when you get a song like Water that just pops. It's not true. What? Every, same mm. on oh every situation. We, we every, just agree to disagree yeah, because saying, bro. I've every, like watched mad interviews of how she made this album. She wasn't gonna have any. She's features. a liar. Okay, Cat okay. Williams been telling okay. you everybody's lying. Okay, so the, 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 like this you could crazy. think you're right that she's lying, <laughs> that, and I don't. Think I like she's how lying. you did that. Like, I like how you did that, right? You, I, just, you can think uh, that. I said that to this yeah. nigga all the time. You uh, can think that, but every camp is different. Savon, there are some artists where you're right. They can't say nothing. They can't refer nothing. Mm-hmm. There are some acts where yo they like the 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 advice and the opinions that they bring up to the team and they they use it. So you think it's if Tyler fact. said I don't want Gunna on my song, yeah, he wouldn't be on that song. Uh, no, that's not what I'm saying. Uh, no, I'm, I'm saying the opposite. Asking. No, I, was like, I, I no, think her team they, would deter her. I'm from just enjoying playing. you going in this rant. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't. You, that's what confuses me is that yeah, it's almost you feel, like you feel like there aren't you know puppeteers mm-hmm. moving everything do you not feel that way for sure no no no. for sure i'm just saying like we know artists we all it, reggie you know artists every team is different <laughs> like, so right, like this <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing yeah, like, yeah you look at it with the crazy <laughs> side eye. every team is different Adam, right there uh-huh. are some teams that are like yo we're gonna pull all the strings for you you don't have you can't you don't have a say in anything here. Who who signed Tyler? Hmm. Uh, she's, actually, she's with RCA. I know someone on RCA? her team personally, and mm-hmm. like they were really, really, really determined to do a debut album with no features on it. And so it's yeah, not but like, that doesn't and, and now she got, and no, look no, at the features that she had. Because yeah. she wanted them. That's what like, I'm trying I, like, to say. Her label bro, wanted talking to market, about? Like, maybe. You're, you're, think, you're looking too cut and dry. Yeah, I'm, it's not like that all the she's time. She's with Epic. I'm not yeah, saying y'all are wrong. Yeah. She's with Epic. What I am saying, and then we can move on. What I am saying. We said like 16 times already. I like this, Reggie. <laughs> no, I said we said it like 16 times already. Turn up! Turn meaning, up! Oh my God, I said we, meaning that we love still talking about I'm this topic. I'm just saying, it's us. When you're that new of an artist, bro, yeah. and you catch one the way that she caught one, Heavy. it's like you aren't in control until you get the next one. It's not true. So, it's not bro, true, we bro. work in music. Like, what Save the on. fuck? You, I need you to understand, bro, that not every single person is in a rap 360. Not every single person has the full team at the biggest people. Like, every team is different, bro. LVRN's team is different than the team from Epic. Epic's teams are different than the team from TDE. Like, you work everybody, in radio. Yeah. You work in promotions, bro. Yeah. You see the shit. I don't know how you were so, not, like... It's I not see, the standard. I see shit. marketing and promotion done once the work is done. But ideas, Savon, ideas are ideas, bro. Like, 
I get, I see where you're coming from. She had a super big song in your head. How could she ever have it? Because I know the music industry to be so uh, controlling and they're going to tell you what, yeah, bro. But there's also a whole nother side where they're like, yo, certain teams, yo, let me hear what you think, Tyler. Yo, let me hear what you think, so-and-so. But I already said mad times, you're right. There is a side where they're like, yeah, you can't do nothing. We just don't know her scenario. That's it. We don't. Everybody different. I can't put the same music experience on every single person. That's impossible. Yeah. That's impossible. Okay. Yeah. I respect that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you respect Diddler? Who? <laughs> Diddler? Diddler? The Diddler? That's actually probably Did he or didn't he? <laughs> Did Who? he do it? Diddler. Diddler. Did he? Did he don't? Did he? <laughs> Yo, what other not, only topic are we Yo, talking what? about? Did he do it? Did he don't? Or did, did he, he or did he? <laughs> But what did you did call did. him? Like when he you said asked me, I heard the diddler. The diddler. I heard yeah. diddler. The diddler. I never I heard diddler. <laughs> Don't yell. Stop that's the saying diddler. that shit. That's the diddler. Bro. Right. That's what. That's what. That's him. That's not. Yeah. Did he do it? Did he do it? Did he do it? Did he not? Did he not? I don't know diddler. Did he do it? Did he not? Yo, that nigga turned into Harriet Tubman for the pussy, bro. <laughs> and for the, like, I what? know he had underground railroad and shit. Oh, no, shit. I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know that part. Nah, they were saying he had an underground pool nigga. in one of his uh, states. I'm not too surprised somehow. Under uh, underground tunnel. For those of you that don't know what we're talking about, you probably have heard of it. Uh, three of P. Diddy's homes have been raided. His L.A. residency, his New York place, and his Miami place. And in, since then, since news is broke, there's a bunch of stories that are going out there about what's going on. We're trying mm -hmm. to understand it. But this seems to be centered around a sex trafficking case. Uh, now, the thing that stuck out to me when I first saw this is that mm -hmm. Homeland Security agents yeah. were the ones. It wasn't ATF. It wasn't the DEA, FBI, etc. Granted, though, they were all present on the site. Yeah. Joint. They were joint. Yeah, it was a joint effort, which tells you everything you need to know about how serious yeah. <laughs> this case is. Right, homeland security. You mean the niggas that's protecting the homeland? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? You mean the the people that are securing the homeland? Mm -hmm. you, but you, you know why, right? I would love for you to say it. So they were. So the reason why HSI was involved is HSI. because it's inter it's interstate, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Um, on one of the lawsuits, the they they refer to her as Jane Doe. Mm -hmm. She alleged that she was put on the jet. Uh, at this time um, that she was referring to uh, and was essentially sex trafficked to Diddy and um, one of his colleagues. Yeah. And to add on to what wow. you're saying, Pierre, I just realized not too long ago what, uh, what tr sex trafficking actually meant. You know, when you hear the word sex trafficking, it sounds like, what the fuck? Yeah. And it is what the fuck. I don't want to dilute it at all. No, no. But literally all it is is just taking a person through state lines. Yeah. To, yeah, like to commit sexual acts. That's, that's the minimal. That's yeah. the min So I think that's the problem. A lot of people just have a problem with how words real, sound. But when you, real, look, when you real, go by definition. Real quick, regard yeah. and that to what you're saying yeah. to us is regardless of consent. Regardless of consent, coercion, yeah. etc. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Damn. Yeah. yeah. And um these niggas is all going down. Oh yeah. Yeah, revelation. They yeah. all going down. Yeah. 2024. We're getting like, everybody out of here. It is it's a lot of people. Do, do <laughs> y'all familiar with Sloan Bella? Yes. yes I yeah. Am. Can you enlighten me on that? Please. Yeah. So oh, Sloan Bella, man. she has a YouTube channel and she's big on astrology, frequencies, energy. She's a psychic. She's a self proclaimed psychic. Um, and she has taken people from our culture, right? Hip hop, music, entertainment. And she does readings on them. And oh, okay. she also, she's one of those. Like, and she's actually predicted a lot of this Diddy stuff Whoa. to a T. No, but like to, to specifics. The to a very, it wasn't like, very oh, like tea. Diddy's going to have trouble in 2024. Like, specifically, like, no, they're going to find his phone on this day. They're going to, I want to gonna, see the, that. I want to see those YouTube No, it's just like the lawsuit's going to drop on this day. Like, yeah. she's like, to a T. Like, months ago. Yeah. she goes years back months and ago. says, hey, like, for instance, she'll say in 2021, hey, on Easter of 2024, <laughs> something's gonna happen here with this person every time and Whoa. it seems to happen like her track yeah. record she's one of those people that you retroactively discover because in the moment you're like oh, this yeah. nigga's crazy <laughs> 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 no like when the That's Cassie lawsuit put. dropped we found her video from five months ago yeah. her predicting all of this Whoa. around, around so, the exact yeah. time and yeah anybody who's not familiar I would advise you to get familiar if you're interested in like again she's one of those people who astrology frequencies readings all those kind of he's things he's basically a medium 
You said yeah. Sl- Sloan Bella? Sloan Bella. Sloan Bella. Yeah. yeah. S L O A N Bella. B E L A. She, she literally Her- was doing the Diddy video months ago and was yep. like in March. And what yeah. happened in March? Oh my God. All the dominoes. Bro. Yeah. All the yeah. dominoes yeah. fell yeah. It, It's really informative. And yeah. um, a lot of her predictions, I will say, are like mostly based around Kim Porter, though. Like, yes. that's the basis of it. Yeah. Like, she's discussing what Kim Porter is telling her. She's channeling her and energy. And then she talks about like Diddy wow. stuff. So she's yeah. not like hyper fixated on Diddy or anything, yeah. but that's interesting. <laughs> She speaks to just energies and connecting with people who have transitioned. Like, that's really one of her things. So um, I binge watched a few of her episodes over the last few days, but the two that stood out to me, she did one on off, uh, not off, take take off. off, Excuse me. She did like a 30 minute um, review on takeoff. Uh, which was a really eerie death, right? I think everybody could be like, wait, yeah, something kind of was strange. It was just some questions there. She did something on him and she did something on Jay-Z recently. Again, I advise everybody to go check that out. I think it's super dope. But um, she has been keeping a pulse on this whole Diddy situation. Yeah. And she also predicted this Easter timing of Diddy's demise, yeah. like to a T. So I am surprised, but I'm not surprised because again, I feel like Everything that's done in the dark kind of comes to the light at some mm, point. Of course. And mm. I think I, I I think Diddy's a sick nigga. Like I think, think he might need help. That's for sure. No, for real. I, I, I think he, he, he I, seems, that's clear by now. Yeah, like yeah. he seems to be a sexual deviant. For sure. And, and, you know, and, and the fucked up part about it is when they raided his home yep, in Miami, you, you just see the shots of his kids being apprehended yeah. yep. and in cuffs. Yeah, and right on the lawn. Sins of your father. It's, it's it, and it's so sad, bro. Imagine what his kids. We're subject to seeing and being and speaking around. Of, speaking of his kids, they, it was reported that um, the Miami, the Star Island home, I believe, yeah. it was in his daughter's name. Oh so yeah, I saw that too. That's yeah, kind of yeah. subjective uh, to be like, okay, maybe he knew something was going on, so that if my assets were ever in question, they couldn't but take it because this is under my direct name. Wow. And you bring up assets. He uh, today, as today, as recently today, he has sold all his Revolt shares. I beat that. Mm-hmm. So he is completely washed his to hands to an unknown buyer. To an unknown mm-hmm. buyer, they they said he's still an African American buyer, but this is a company he fe- he founded in 2013. You know, mm-hmm. before they had to take Damn. him off the board when the first stuff popped out. But this was like now yeah, we gotta watch like for sure. And and, yeah. and the other thing I'll say too is you know whenever we get like fresh news about certain things like this that happen, I would advise everybody to just make sure you check your sources because Absolutely. I was watching a video where. This lady was saying he was uh, that Diddy was running on the he was on his uh, jet he fleed when that was totally a farce that was not the case mm-hmm. he uh, allegedly he was in uh, Opalaka and they have video of him there you know just all the stuff that you're hearing everyone's you know just take into consideration that this is like literally an active thing and just double check your sources and uh, just monitor what you take in as truth versus what's not so yeah mm-hmm. sometimes the truth ain't funny though nah not at all no nah. because the shit that I heard about Diddy. I think it's better than the actual truth. And it's fucked up. <laughs> it's fucked up that you have to almost separate the two. Because when I thought of, like when I think about Diddy, we talk about like rap superstars. Yeah. I think about Mace. Right. Right. So I got my, my car. Shout out to Alex. Hey. Me. I got my car. <laughs> and I'm thinking like, how can I make this symbolic to me? My dog's name is Mace. Oh, I didn't know. I that. wanted to name my car Diddy. Wow. What the fuck? I couldn't Even do it. You could have said anybody, nigga. You could have said Sean, <laughs> Black I, Rob, I, I thought, nigga, no, Total. Listen, what the fuck was you see, nigga? It was a quick the thought. Fuck? It was literally, it was a nigga, quick. Nigga, it's mad niggas. It's 112. And, 112. No, but you got to understand. You call a cam. The, Biggie. I didn't think. Day 26. I Faith. For me. <laughs> Mary J. For me. <laughs> Usher. No, listen. Oh, wow. Wait, Just did you wow. name your dog after like Mace? Yes, I, I did. knew. I knew like her name was Mace, I, but like. I named like, <laughs> all right, and I'm, 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 I'm going to do the science with you. I named my dog <laughs> Mace. <laughs> I love it. It's so random though. I was like, living up time at the time. At the time. <laughs> I was like, and Mace, Mace, Mace is a unisex name. She, no, yeah, a, I would I mean, never know. Mace is a, is a unisex name. And like Mace, mm. I'm thinking of. You don't think Mace is a unisex? <laughs> What's I mean, I, we always knew. Never met a baddie named Mace. <laughs> but when you see my picture, no, like, I'm like, oh, the my, puppy, he's the puppy. Oh, for the pup? Yeah. yeah. Okay, 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 what yeah. you thought? Yeah, nah, it suits nah. her. It suits her. Yeah, it, it worked. But it's, yeah, it so works. the reason I even came, like, I, I named my dog Mace is because 
the Mace is like the first rapper that yeah. I was like, oh, this is a this is hip hop. You talking mm-hmm. shit? Mm-hmm. No funny. Like I remember seeing yeah. Diddy, Mace. Like people those were the how first good he was. two people. I'm like, wait, this is rap. What the fuck? These niggas got shiny. Fly it, rap I too. didn't think it was corny because I didn't know this is my introduction to rap in 1999, 98, mm-hmm. whatever it was. Mm-hmm. So I remember seeing Mace and thinking he was the illest nigga. He was the flyest nigga ever. He was the very first rap superstar to me. Mm-hmm. But then he just went away. Yeah. He just vanished. Turned into a bastard. Like, he was legit. He did, right? He like, was praying. Yeah. My favorite two people in the late 90s. And again, <laughs> I'm probably five, six years old at this time. Yeah. I remember Maya and I mm. remember Mace. The M's. Maya had an effect on me for other reasons. <laughs> and Mace was really just him. <laughs> so I'm like, wait, these are the two. Like, so Mace has always kind of stuck with me, even when he wasn't active. Like today, when people see it is what it is and they see yeah. Mace in a the suit, they think of Mace as who he is today. Mace has been gone and out of the spotlight for mad yeah. long. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like he really hasn't been around, right? Yeah. But for him to have that type of impact on me, my introduction to hip hop, it made me really, really look backwards and to see how he moves today and say, wait, oh no, this guy, he left for a real reason. For sure. So lately, that's a good point. He's actually been taking shots. Chill, I'm doing good, man. Reparations is getting closer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, shit. They are getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> tough. <laughs> yeah, Niggas tough. laughing hard as hell. This is the day after Diddy's raid. Damn. <laughs> I got nothing to do with that money. That's all yours, man. I was on the next boat. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Close yeah. and closer, huh, man? Close and closer. Okay. <laughs> The big no, payback. You know, the big the payback. Yeah. Really kind of been the big payback for you, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Okay, you kind of, you kind of, uh, last week, you went destiny. You went, you know, you went destiny. So you could just see. Just Has he the been temperament. shooting like consistently throughout this whole thing? Uh, even before that, he's he's uh, shot at Puff since uh, it is what it is. It started, yeah. Damn. And and before a little bit after, a little bit before too because he was uh, talking about, about in the clip. You talking about in the clip? Oh, okay. okay. You talking about in the clip here? No, 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 no. Oh. Just in life. Yeah. Oh, it's in general. Mm-hmm. God, you got. Because he's been wanting his like masters back for like mad long, and he's been vocal about that. I feel like. Yeah. No. But oh, yeah. Even outside of the masters, for somebody to be so close, like Bad Boy was built on Biggie and Mace. Right, and I think Diddy was the catalyst of that. But without those two pillars, like I, Bad Boy doesn't reach the heights that is it's reached. Nah, for and sure. For Mace They're to needed. say, there's another clip that's out there online where Mace literally says, "I escaped Diddy." Yeah, I Damn. escaped all that shit. That shit was so bad he had to go to God. You got to think about this shit. You're right. Crazy. Yeah, you're right. And to leave at that time. Yeah, when everything right. was hot I, for him. Mm-hmm. Damn, yeah. yeah, that says a lot. I heard. Point. I don't know if this is. Oh no, go ahead, Reggie. Oh no! I just said good point. Yeah, I don't know if this is true or not, but um, I heard something that said uh, um, Biggie's mom doesn't receive uh, quite a bit of the money that she should have gotten after um, Biggie's death. Is that true? Did you guys hear that? Anything like that? I'm not sure, but I think that would have to do with his estate. Yeah, I'm I think not that's too more sure. so his estate. But just keeping it on Maze. Did you make the right decision leaving rap? I did. Everything now that we see playing out was all the things I escaped. Mm-hmm. The car, the, so the shine, mm-hmm. the loan. All the niggas that got Daddy, arrested under him. Think Larry, about that. The Craig Mack. The Biggie Smalls. The Biggie Smalls. So even though I made those decisions and it cost me money, that's why I got with Killer and they gave me the money back. Mm-hmm. I didn't lose no money. Destiny. So for somebody Destiny. to to move and think like that, I think that just says a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that says a lot. And and uh, the severity of this situation, I, I'm sure there were a lot of people, probably even Puff, right? All right, cool. I gave Cassie the thirty million. All right, cool. I'm gonna just lawyer up, and whoever tries to get money out of me will just fight them in court. We'll deal with it. We'll go forward. This is for for them to have the ATF, the DEA, and Homeland Security involved. Like wow. If we know anything about the feds, right? The case has already been cooked. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. I'm. I wouldn't be surprised if Cassie s- spoke to the feds about this. Oh, everybody. Yeah. Everybody involved. I just want people to really understand the magnitude of this, right? Yeah. Because though you may not see at the time of this recording, Diddy in handcuffs. You saw his uh, his sons were released after they were questions, etc. 
there is way more down the pipeline. Like this alleged alleged sex trafficking rink, it probably involves some very high level high level people above Puff for sure. And I don't want to take anything away from Puff because I know he was very involved and hands on. I mean. We we can we can tell off of what Cassie told us alone. Yeah, you know how to, how some of those sex escapades mm-hmm. were, right? But I think there's some very nasty things at play that will involve a bunch of people. My question is if those people get revealed or they just put up Puff as the face for it. Dang, I like think there's that, a lot that we don't even realize. For yeah. sure, that's what it feels Dang. like. And I've never seen anything yeah. where. You know when he when Cassie's uh, first put out the lawsuit or when the lawsuit was first put out. I've never seen like. Prominent figures and people that we know have been around them, like no one said anything. Yeah. They wouldn't no, touch it with a 10 foot pole. People do say things. No, I'm talking about at the time of Cassie's lawsuit. Okay. Like people that we knew that were like really associated with him, no one wanted to say anything. Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's one of those things where you just got to watch, watch it play out. But I also believe, I, I feel like there's some black Epstein shit. Kind sure, of, yeah. yeah. yeah it's got it feels like some I, black yeah. Epstein shit. I think it is some Epstein shit. shit. You don't know. No, it, it feels like some Epstein <laughs> shit is on the way. Like, Again, they they play in our faces and we are just so conditioned to not question anything. Or if the masses aren't questioning anything, we don't really use our discernment to look at what it is. Mm-hmm. Right? Like when Cassie left Diddy, or even when Cassie was with Diddy, why weren't we as the masses questioning these things? And now I know hindsight is 2020. Not yeah. Right, I, hindsight is twenty twenty. You know why, but though, right? I again just personally, I always looked at, and no shot at Cassie, but how the fuck were they together? Like, what the fuck did they have? How did that end up? What? <laughs> so, <laughs> she's his artist. She's way younger. Where is way the correlate? Like they, it, it never felt compatible to me. And that now I didn't, I didn't think Diddy was like sex trafficking or abusing her, but I always looked at it like this don't really make sense. Like Hove and Beyonce, that kind of makes sense. That makes sense. And they got together during a time where social media wasn't prevalent. The Me Too, the, the Me Too mom, uh, movement didn't occur yet, right? Mm-hmm. So it's easy for things to just get swept under the rug, right? Because it was already a thing. And then when she left, look who she left him for. Yeah. Right? Like, you see a lot of people, and last week we had this big argument about Amber Rose, but you see a lot of people get out of relationships, and then they stay in that same circle, that same field, or that same industry. Cassie left him for his trainer that's white and probably living, you know, modest. Yeah, his name is Alex. She had all these Yo, Alex his name is Alex Fine. You know, you know Hello. What's his name? Alex Fine. Isn't that crazy? Now her name is Cassie Fine. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> wow, that is kind of crazy. I, crazy. I, I didn't think about that. But again, I, uh, just <laughs> us using our own discernment as yeah. like fans and consumers, right. I think we just get so conditioned to read the headlines and we don't really use what it is that we probably feel and know. Because anybody would have looked at that. Like, we all have a, 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 a quote unquote type. And maybe we might go off of that type, right? We might deal with somebody who's outside of our norm. But for the most part, we kind of like what we like, right? We know what we like. Mm-hmm. She did a 180 from Diddy, bro. <laughs> she needed to get away and from none that. of us looked at it like, wait, yeah. what's going what on happened? here? We needed to get away she from She went that. from a billionaire, rapper, yeah. playboy, alcohol, enthusiast, hip-hop mogul to like the modest nigga Alex. <laughs> Yo, watch your mouth. No shot. Watch your fuck. <laughs> Ain't nothing modest about me, ho. You heard? No, but that's what she Ain't did. Ain't nothing modest no, about us, she nigga. did that, bro. Ain't nothing modest no, about Alex. she did that shit, though. No, she didn't. Hmm. He probably has a great personality. Just very. I think, no, but I think, I don't know, I can speak for women. I feel like when women saw that she went, like her next partner was Alex, none of us were probably like, what are you do? Like, what is this? What are you doing? I feel like all of us got it. We're like, oh, okay. Like, she's done. She, <laughs> she got a good man now who people treats her like a queen. Sigh on Diddy for a long time. Huh? Yeah. Like, yeah, I feel like, like people were like, like, oh, now she's, now she's in a loving relationship. But when she got married right away, two beautiful girls. I, I feel like yeah. it was clear to us what was happening. Like, okay, she, she found, you know, the, the a kind man now. Yeah. What's your type, Eden? What do you mean? You got a type. <laughs> In terms of women? Yeah. Big sure. foreheads. <laughs> Flop. Big butts. Flop. Big Big funny. Foreheads I like, I like, no, but like, if, if I have to go to like personality, comedically, like they're funny. Okay. You know? 
Typically, <laughs> I'm typically with like a Latina woman, like okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with yeah. a big forehead and a big butt and a big butt. <laughs> I love. Like, it. I was like big forehead. <laughs> it's always a big because I always like to like big forehead shit, and I'm like I love it. Aww. Every time. Aww. Like, Aww. So if you dated one of those big foreheaded women, mm. and then you got a little forehead right after. The oh, the big, big foreheads are gonna be tight. They're gonna be looking nah. like, wait, what big is going on? Gonna be super tight. What the fuck is going on? What about everything you told me? <laughs> I was gonna ask y'all, how do y'all feel? Like as a society, we're gonna be split in half because it's gonna happen. What, you what mean? do you mean? What you mean? When the whole R. Kelly shit happened, people were split in half. Mm. No matter how much you heard about it, mm-hmm. even if there was a documentary, even if there was a part two on that documentary, we were split. Mm-hmm. How are we gonna be split here? I mean, even if there is a split, like, well, you were mentioning R. Kelly, like the people who, well, I'm on the side where, you know, I, I don't listen to his music. I'm okay, cool. I believe what everybody's telling me. Boom, I'm done with R. Kelly. There's another side of it, of that coin. I don't really care about the other side of the coin. So, like, if we're split on the Diddy stuff, like, I'm not really concerned with, like, the people who are, like, still defending him. I like that question, but I don't think it's going to be a split because I don't think Diddy is as beloved. I was just it's about gonna, to say it's gonna, You know what I'm saying? It's going to yeah. take, a, a, mm-hmm. unfortunately, it's going to take a woman mm-hmm. to be associated with the man mm-hmm. for us to really be. Sp- we will get rid of a black nigga in a heartbeat mm-hmm. if we feel he's done wrong. We're going to cancel mm-hmm. any nigga mm-hmm. who, who we feel has done anything wrong. And there are going to be mad people, like hundreds of thousands of people defending Diddy, but I just don't really think that's going to like split us as yeah. a nation. And though people yeah. love Diddy's catalog, you know, that he executive, executive produced on some of it, most of it, R. Kelly was really singing a lot of those records that he was, people- He wrote a lot of them. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that just connects to people on a whole nother level, right? And it's very hard for them to separate the two. A nigga like, did he, blah, that nigga made a beat. Oh, he said, ad lib, I'm cool. Like, oh my God. As, as, glo- <laughs> as global as Diddy is, he's, yeah. not as, he's not as beloved, right? Like, yeah. we revere Diddy for like his business acumen, right? And his consistency. We don't look at him as like the artist, like, oh my God. Like, there's a different connection when you revere somebody for their art in their creation compared to somebody who you know you just admire or you respect because of who they are in business right like i think that's when we'll really get a split like r kelly as great as he is like there's some people in middle america who don't give a fuck about him like Uh the 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 ones the real ones at the top who can really divide like that quote-unquote split I think is it, this is the gateway to that i think diddy is the gateway to all of our faves for sure and or hopefully sure. your faves is on the right she side get of deep. history. She get deep, man. Diddy's connected to political figures. Diddy is connected to people from different industries. Yeah. And you want to you know the, the funny part about all of that, though, is everybody likes to party. That's that's the problem. Cat Williams. That's tried the problem. To tell you. That's you gotta the problem. tell him no. He told you. You gotta, you gotta tell him no. no. You gotta, you gotta tell no. Diddy no. Because now they could probably implicate you, too. Mm-hmm. Let's say if you're somebody real wealthy, or you're a part of something, right. or somebody important as of right now, Let's just implicate you right now. If you fuck around and do something we don't like, we pull out that card and yeah. remind you that we have that card on you. Damn. I know it sounds a little creepy right now, y'all, but these are things but to think about thing. at that level. Yeah, yeah, real shit. Everything is coming down. Absolutely. That's like, why I just got to be a great person, guys. And don't do no crazy shit like yeah. this. Because people are going to find out. Honestly. Now, I can't get that Drake shit off my mind, though, y'all. What? Which one? No diddy. You still want to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have known that uh, what would Pluto do was a confessional. <laughs> I didn't know that either, actually. Yo, this dude was... Conf- do I need to read the lyrics? Oh, I really didn't know that. Wait, sh- confessing about what? I didn't... Like, he basically breaks down his whole... What he did to Future's Girl. Oh, shit. Oh, he yeah. did? Bro, yeah. the entire Classic, thing, yeah. bro. If you really... The whole thing. What would Pluto do? I got you right lyrics? now. Yeah, I'm looking up that. the mir- lyrics. That's yeah. one of my favorite songs. Now, I know. Too. I'm about to make you listen to it differently. You ready? Yeah. Okay, he goes... <laughs> Working on the album, now it's finished. Last time I seen her, she was fucking with my nigga. So the question is, the question is, what would Pluto do? He fucked the hoe, so I did it. This nigga was, was confessing. so overt. Like, this nigga was telling us. It was, he was telling, we had no clue. But this is why. What would Pluto do? She fucked the hoe, so I did it. Bro. What'd you say, Sable? No, keep going. You sure? Yeah. Waking back into my old ways. Uh, not old ways. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait, okay, hold on. I- I'll let you continue, Alex, but it's also like, I know we love Drake. Me too. I was just literally just caping for him at the beginning of this episode. But it's like, what if he's actually just like a fucking like terrible person? No. Like, I think we're, that's an option. Yeah, that's a big <laughs> no, option. No, like, are we yeah. ever gonna, like, he's like, he doesn't want to. Like, 
crazy ass shit yeah. like and like and like we said earlier right just trying to get away with it like are, are we ever gonna be like wait actually he's kind of like a bad person did y'all ever think he was Joe, a bad person not, Joe, not, no, not necessarily I, we all ignored it because yeah. he just makes Slaps. so many hits yeah yeah, I don't know, somebody just like a shitty person. Somebody did Allegedly. try to expose it, and then everybody was uh, basically saying that the person that was saying it was a P- POS. Piece Who of tried shit. to expose it? POS. Yo, <laughs> yo, don't get on the podcast Why'd you and say, say POS. POS? <laughs> I had to nah, say POS. Sale? I don't. <laughs> Duality. Sometimes you got to be explicit. Sometimes you got to keep it PG. I like that. Peter. I like that. I like but that. Who, who said so, it? so we, you know, the most recent uh, rant that Joe did. On Drake about you know what he's saying in, in uh, his last album oh, Joe, yeah. about like Joe your your man's for all okay. the dogs review right mm-hmm. um, he was exposing how like you know the age and like what he's saying he's doing and then everybody just kind of dog piled on Joe <laughs> like that shit ain't cool but like all right he makes slaps and it's like what so Alex says it. it's not my fault that you know certain people make slaps and everybody rock with it regardless of what's being said Joe it's not my fault bro. This nigga said, what will Pluto do? He fucked the hoe, so I did it. What That's the crazy. fuck is we talking about? I'm not, I, this does not surprise me whatsoever. No, it doesn't surprise me. You know when something is just in your face? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry to cut you off, Reggie. You know when something is just in your face and you just never realize it? It's like an aha moment right now. Damn. I mean, I I mean, we knew that they, uh, Drake was a, I don't know why, why did I just say David? <laughs> David. But, um, Drake that David. Drake was a POS <laughs> when he like literally, um, made the sub- subliminal about Megan the Stallion. I was like, you're such a piece of shit. Like, but <laughs> here I am bumping him like today. Like, I, then, I'm not, I ain't shit either. And but, then Future like, got on the album and said how he be fucking Megan the Stallions. Oh but think about oh, yeah, shit, it's yeah, how crazy. long we had to get to it's that crazy. point of saying that. He fucked <laughs> Lil Wayne's girl while he was on Rikers Island. Craziness, bro. Oh my God. Craziness. Think bro. about how long ago that now. was. Like, and Craziness. we never really gave him that. Like, yeah. we don't have to talk about Megan Thee Stallion 10 years later mm-hmm. or what he would he's do to the future. He's been like this. Like, like he's been. A it was in a book. He talked about it. Like, thankfully, yeah. Lil Wayne is a real nigga where Lil Wayne is so much pussy. He don't give a don't fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. All right, I love that bitch. But, but you can like, have it. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah like, they back on tour together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Lil Wayne, he's, he's he, when he calls himself an alien, he's mm. really an alien. alien. Yeah. Like, when you ask him his favorite cuisine, yeah. Pussy. <laughs> like, he will... Yo, you ask, yo, what, we, what type of yeah. food do you like? Pussy. pussy. Like, yeah. he really... he He's a different type of guy. So he understands mm. the game. He respects the game. He's like, look, yeah, I might have been hurt in the moment. Yeah. Drake's my dog. He fucked this girl. Mm. But he can get over it. Most people mm-hmm. are not wired that way. Yeah. Most people don't yeah. look at it and, and, right. and give you the pass where it's like, oh, no, nah, like business is business, women is women. Mm-hmm. Because Lil Wayne, again, he's been a child star for however many long. Like, I also think this is about to sound wild. I think Lil Wayne is like a, a, a positive sexual deviant. <laughs> No, no, no. Okay. Wait, wait, no, no. no, no. Wait, 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 explain, wait, wait, explain. Yeah, yeah. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to. I'm trying to see what he's saying. Like a double negative. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> I think there's. I know Diddy, what you say though. I, I think there's good Diddy, free? and I think there's Lil Wayne. Yeah, yeah. I think there's the end two different of types of freaks. Like, I see what you're getting. At. I think yeah. Lil Wayne. Yeah. He he's just gonna. We know do, he like pussy. Yeah, he gonna do his thing. We know he like pussy. He love pussy, but he's not gonna coerce no pussy. He love pussy. He's not gonna take the pussy. He's not gonna steal a pussy. No, he just is a upset yeah. uh, obsessed with vagina yeah and i think diddy is like the opposite his urges control him <laughs> right okay, like, yeah, i, 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 I think yeah. to where he may not care about your consent <laughs> like right <laughs> i think there's different spectrums but i do think they're both sexual deviants in a certain regard for sure where little wayne he talks about it it's in his music it's who he is like the fucking either pussy like pussy 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 but was, like that's all he talks about, <laughs> and it's it. cool, right? Yeah. And so I think he's able to compartmentalize a relationship, a friendship, and a woman. Mm-hmm. Whereas, like, he didn't make a big deal out of Drake having sex with his girl. Yeah. But if most men, and maybe I'm speaking from insecurity, I could be that. I don't give a fuck. But most men, if I have a relationship with you and you sleep with the woman that I'm dealing with, mm-hmm. game over. The the game relationship over. is fractured. Mm-hmm. That's and not so, insecure. That's such betrayal. Like, yeah, it that is. Would, yeah, that would piss sure. anybody off. But sure. because Lil Wayne, again, real nigga records, <laughs> fuck cash money yeah. records, yeah. real nigga records. Because Lil Y-M. Wayne didn't make a big deal out of that shit 10, 15, however many years ago. Yeah, as a uh, public, we just we ain't even think anything of it. You think yeah. that's where it started? Like, if Wayne would have checked him 
he that no i think no. that drake is getting it back in blood he was laughed at he was the nerd and now he has the opportunity to do everything he wants ah. so he's gonna do everything Dang. he wanted now he's just like fucking everybody yeah bitch. when you grow up and you him you that's don't need to do, to do that that's definitely that's one, one way to do it weekend was like yo future metro y'all got a little open on that shit <laughs> oh let me lay a little back vocal on this motherfucker he like hummed let me hit <laughs> asap rocky was like oh y'all dropping the album let me let me let come through up. show support yeah. What did he do? Wait, he showed support? On, on Instagram. I didn't see that. He did? Yeah, went through Metro. Look how many people it takes, though. Yeah. But all, all, but all with women, right? We know about what he said about Rihanna on his last album. Yeah. We can see why ASAP Rocky is tight. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Bella, that was, that I'm, was horrible. Come I'm on, anti. Too. I'm anti. Man-T, like, what the fuck I'm was anti, that? I'm anti. I'm anti. Like, <laughs> in the section of Zabba's with you. Yo, what do y'all think of uh, the whole Christina Mackey thing with Drake? Thank you for bringing that up. Word. Quick hits that I, we didn't get to go to. Yeah. Christina Mackey is the former girlfriend of uh, Rick, Ross. Rick Ross. He paraded her around for a whole two weeks. She got new teeth out of it and probably some money. Anyway, <laughs> since this beef has commenced, she was invited to Drake's show. She posted it. Got OBS. tickets. Yeah. Front row. Front row. Three VIP. tickets. VIP. Got Nastiness. He just playing into the storyline. That's all. Drake's team is good at that. Yeah, real good. Like, but real good. I will say this, right? I saw a lot of people defending him like his father. I got to read that shit before we got it. I'm sorry, man. Hold on. <laughs> Drake's dad defended him? Yes, bro. I got it. I will say his, uh, his summation of uh, what he wrote kind of brought everything together. Like, all right, this is what's going on. I don't agree with that is what's going on. That's a perfect way to end. Real, no funny shit. Where is this nigga at? Mr. Dennis. <laughs> yeah, that's what they call the nigga. Dennis, Dennis Graham. Dennis Graham. Dennis Graham. Dennis Graham. Dennis Graham. I don't even think Future know his father. And that's why you can't Say get what? in the beef. Nah, that ass. Say what? You can't beef with a nigga that knows his father and doesn't know his father. Yeah. I need that clip. <laughs> <laughs> I need that clip like so bad. Yes, like yesterday. Damn. <laughs> Drake's father says, yo. And again, Drake's father is being sarcastic when he pens this caption. Say, Vaughn is fucking stupid. That's real <laughs> shit. How you Drake's father that? says, yo, I'm about to drop some new music and I'm not sure if it's going to sell. But I'm going to call some of my homies and get them to start a beef with Drake and them and get them to unfollow him. And that's what's going to make my shit shoot the number one. I'm sure this is going to work. So let me get some people on board for this and watch what kind of attention this gets. I don't know who needs to tell Mr. Dennis that uh, Kendrick Lamar didn't put out an album this year (laughs) and he won the album at the Grammys. I saw a lot of conversations centered around Kendrick is doing this for a reaction. Kendrick is doing this for sales. Kendrick is Kendrick Lamar without without what y'all think <laughs> i don't know if y'all know that or not mm-hmm. uh i don't i don't this is not just some something to just mark it out all of a sudden out of nowhere no this is just calculated he feels that way i don't like all the defense though around dre it make him look a little weak that one thing that i didn't like is how much people are dragging this on twitter like people are acting like oh my god drake shouldn't respond like he shouldn't touch kendrick but also to kendrick too like they're there, I don't know, just a lot of um, exaggerations and a lot of the worst rap takes I've ever seen in my life mm. because people are just getting so carried away with this, but it's entertaining. Yeah. As to the discourse, I, I guess. That's exactly how I felt on that Friday when you I was like, me. everybody yeah. relax. Like, everybody <laughs> I was watching all this and I was down. like, why, bro? Yeah. This is not going to go as everyone I'm sorry thinks. I disturbed your Friday. No, you did not. Trust me. <laughs> I was like, see this. You still got a good hairline. Not, <laughs> Yo, so no, good. This thing is <laughs> crazy, bro. I'm jealous. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you don't got Pierre. <laughs> I'm jealous. Oh, shit. Yo, Pierre, don't let them lie to you either. Why? You think I'm my joints that messed up? Oh, I'm my God. Mine's not as worse, not as bad as yours. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Talk to me. P.O.S. Yo, you saw the shit. Did you see the shit? Yo, don't ask, the, don't ask my son. No, he taking pictures right now. Don't, nah, I'm just, don't ask him, nigga. He don't got a mic. Nah, you're right. But I'm just <laughs> saying, like, I, I don't want to be on the island by myself. Like, Pierre. Yeah, he's, um, trying, he's, trying, not, he's trying to recruit me. I'm yeah. good. I'm good on this <laughs> side. I'm good. There's still hope for my hairline. I'm good. There is hope. In Turkey. Hey, Yo. at least it's somewhere. Your joint is non-existent. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> wow. That's I'm true. Though. I accept, though. You my guy, I though. accept. You're I am guy. not mad at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, before we get up <sighs> out of here, um, I want to send prayers and condolences to the people over in Baltimore. That yes. was a fucked up tragedy. That was a final destination shit. Yeah, very scary. There was a bridge that collapsed over in Baltimore. Yeah. It was really, really fucking scary. Yeah. Um, I don't have a fear of driving over bridges. I've never have. Some yeah. people, they have like that phobia, that phobia. But this is the type of shit that will instill that in you. Yeah. Because yeah. you just don't even like think about it. Like when you're driving over the bridge, you're like, oh yeah, I'm just driving. It's kind of helpful. Or you feel like you could speed up and get through. Mm. 
Mr. Long ass. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I'm uncomfortable with Savon saying this because <laughs> when he, he says he stuff. Said that shit? Did, you, did you hear the way he said that <laughs> like, shit? I, I, was like, Wait, um, I just don't want to laugh because mm, there's, there's a somber there topic. A there was but... a preventative. Uh... I'm dead ass. Like, in your head. You always think worst case scenario, and you like I could I could get through that shit. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. yeah. You so floor it. if yeah, you feel like I'm yeah. about to hit on my Dominic Toretto shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you, I, I see what you're saying. When you get on the bridge, you think to, you're not thinking you I'm do, helpless. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. But you do have initial thoughts of yeah, damn, like I'm sure. really just over this bed or of water. Or you think you got the presence of mind to be like, yo, I'm gonna buckle the seatbelt. I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna hit the car, hit the Nas. That's what I feel like. No, you should not break the windshield. Nah, because then all the glass shatters onto you. You got to put the window down before yeah. you go into the wood. Yeah. Exactly. And don't try to open the door either. The, when you're stuck oh, in yeah, a situation, you have to roll down the window. Mm-hmm. That's like your best bet. Yeah. Because not with you, though. If the all pressure's right. not equalized, it's over. It's over. Every time I get on a bridge, I'm like, you just think about worst case scenario. Just yeah, really man. quick. This shit is sad. This shit is very so, sad. And it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to affect the economy out there. That's a, mm-hmm. that's a major... They use, they use that bridge for major distribution. Mm-hmm. How old is that bridge? Oh, I don't know. I'm not That's sure. That's the shit that be scaring me sometimes. Yeah. I know there's a lot of. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what's yeah, really just, scary? Yeah. When's the last time you've taken the George Washington bridge? Ah, uh, come on. Chill, 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 chill. Uh, Every single day. Like, literally, like, like, two hours ago. ago. Yeah. I got to go over it tonight, unfortunately. I, I uh, use it every single day. But, okay. I know. I get the point. Like, you guys saying, what like, was the, I about to say? the chill, bridge. Say, I wasn't no. talking about the bridge. You wasn't? I was talking about the underpath. You know how when you drive onto the. No, when you drive onto the bridge. You drive like underneath buildings. There's a lot of like decay oh, true. on yeah, those yeah. on those pillars. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Yeah. And there's literal buildings on top of that before you even get onto the bridge. It's a huge building, I think. Yeah, it's quarter a city. Though. Quarter yeah. city. That's the height. I mean, Pierre should do it. Pierre. You live in but Jersey. Like, when was the last time that a bridge like collapsed? It only takes one time. I know, God, but like people, I saw that take on Twitter where people are like talking about the structures of the bridge, like. A ship crashed into it. That's what I was gonna say. So yeah. that's that's, that's why I saw because like a lot of my engineering friends right. were like you know speaking about this and they were like I know everyone's about to blame the structure of the bridge but it's like guys like a ship like crashed into it like the bridges like get a lot of maintenance there's a lot of work that goes yeah, into like I maintaining these bridges but, but I do know it's one not, day it might not, not the G Dub but maybe it's gonna go to G Dub you got um there was Barack Obama produced a movie that came out okay um, oh yeah yeah, yeah. um. It was oh, on some shit. Last what of was Us that type called? shit. Leave yeah. Us Behind or something? Yeah, yes. Left the World yeah, Behind. Yeah, left the World Behind? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, I saw that. And yeah. that exact scenario played in his movie. Mm. Mm. The bridge crashed into a bridge. It lost its power, crashed into a bridge. Oh my and gosh. Boom. And that came out like. What? Mm. Shout out to. Yeah. That bridge was made in 77, by the way. That's 19, not that long. Yeah, it's not that long. 1977. Yeah, it's not that long at all. Like, it's not that long. So, yeah, man. I don't know. I think, and my hope is as a society, we just start. Looking at things with a different lens. Yeah. Like, let's use our own brains when we see certain things. And discern it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, when you see Diddy and Meek Mill matched up. <laughs> think the worst. Use your brain. <laughs> I don't know. If, no, just think. think. the worst. Like, yeah. no, nah, yeah. It's the daddy. You got, When you hear that, you got to. Right, right, let's get us out of here, bro. No. I'm saying, when you hear that, you got to, you know, it's, right, it's, it's, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> this has been the That's beat. worse than what you were saying? Yo, What's this wrong? has been What's the detail. How? Don't ever say it's the daddy. Oh my, my god, this has been the detail. <laughs> what are you talking about? You didn't so you didn't hear him hear him call other people daddy? This Ooh. has been the need Did to know he? podcast. He's still going like I was still here. You wasn't uncomfortable when he was when you were hearing him call people daddy? This was the need to know no podcast, podcast, I think. Yo, what is going uh, what is going know. on? Like, subscribe, comment. We love you. Um this has been a great please thank and you, spam, Eddie. spam Eddie's comments <laughs> to tell him to come back every week Eddie. thank you Eddie. thank you for coming again <laughs> you, my you gonna come again bro of course oh, Paul is valid. Whoa. I mean no hey. kidding see no that was, by the way I know y'all ended that was the, that's the craziest thing to me right now what, what? That, that's a whole thing now it's you know who did that right who shout out to Quilly Quilly is a Philly rapper he trademarked the, the term no, no diddy? diddy wow he was on Axe Podcast. Oh, he did? Yeah, he went Has up on Axe Podcast. Store. Yeah, he's having a lot of beef with Meek Mill, so he went up to Axe Podcast to talk about that shit, and he just went into a tangent. I said, "No Diddy, no Diddy, no Diddy." So some Philly shit. Y'all really think yeah. Diddy was fucking them niggas? Oh yeah, all them absolutely, niggas. all them niggas. Oh yeah, all them niggas. This has been the Need to Know podcast. <laughs> I think everything is true. <laughs> what you need to know, <laughs> Reggie. Everything is true, right? Yes. Nah, we don't yeah. gotta put that on paper, man. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, oh. y'all. Peace. Peace. Peace.